Woo! Alternate punk. Angry music, apparently. Apparently this is angry music. Don't feel angry. Get excited. time because I was a bit a bit sudden. I'm here talking about Henry Cavill leaving the Witcher. I well they probably don't have a choice. Let's talk about Henry Cavill leaving Witcher. So I don't watch Witcher. <laughs> I know I'm afraid I don't. All I watch now is uh, just horrible horror films. But uh, we did watch a bit of Witcher, and Henry Cavill is lovely, absolutely lovely. But um, I think it's it's going to be. It's I'm I'm sure it is a money thing. I'm sure it is a an availability thing. Um, and you know maybe he doesn't want to spend his entire life doing one role. I could sort of understand that he's in a position where he's yeah he gets to have some fun. He plays Witcher, and then he moves on, and they've got some idea for how to how to replace and I feel really bad for whoever's got to sort of step into that I hope they do a really good transition of that because you know it's a bit like the Doctor Who's the way the doctors will will regenerate and it's all of a sudden you're like oh man I remember the guy I remember when Tom Baker changed I was like what <laughs> I don't I don't want him he's funny looking you know I was a, I was a Tom Baker fan but I guess even at the same time I suppose I was also you know I was pretty upset when um, when John Pertwee uh, change as well. Although I've got to say, I was younger, I was newer to the show, I wasn't as invested in John Pertwee. Also, he was just, you know, he was of a different generation to me. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm closer in age to his, I think I'm younger than his son even. Um, but, uh, which isn't saying much. I think we're both pretty old. Uh, he may be younger, who knows? I don't know. He just, he just seems older and more mature than me. Uh, but, you know, I can understand why there would be, I can understand why, why fans would be upset. But at the same time, you know, if you're enjoying the show, you're enjoying the show, right? Is it just Henry Cavill that makes that show? I mean, I'd be curious to know. Is that is that the sense? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't believe anything you hear unless you hear it specifically from from Henry Cavill, because you know, it can be many things. Here's the other thing: is like doing regular television is really freaking difficult. Like you know, a poor you know, I know, Crimey River. I'd love to do it. I love doing it. Um, but it's definitely, you know, especially I can't imagine being number one on a television show, like being in every day, being in just about every single shot. That's got to be exhausting after a while, even if you love what you're doing. I mean, there was times on Stargate that I was like, you know, ready to murder and kill uh, because I was just exhausted and trying to, you know, you're trying to do the best work you possibly can. And you're feeling like you can't because everything's so rushed and you're, you know, you just stop on, you stop one show and you just go straight into another one. I can see that be, I, I see that could be kind of sort of frustrating for, for, for certainly someone in his position as well. And also he's probably got a lot of options too. Maybe he wants to try other stuff. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, uh, he will be a guy playing the Witcher. Henry was the Witcher. Yeah. Until he's not, you know what I mean? Like, this is the thing is I, I really feel like if people give it a shot, then I, I think they'll, you know, the show can, the, the show could continue happily, I'm sure. Um, and they obviously want to continue the show. And there's obviously people there who want to continue the show. So, you know, I mean, I, 
I it is tough though. I can't imagine replacing replacing a character. I mean, that's yeah, that's 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 very difficult. I'd be curious to know how they how they go about doing it. Um, I didn't really like The Witcher uh, that much, but I know people who love it. Yeah, Captain Catherine. I mean, one of one of us, Jack Jasper, is a big fan of of The Witcher. I think. Um, I don't know if Cal is. Is Cal a fan of anything? That's the next question. Hi, Cal. How are you? If you're around, wakey, wakey. If not, don't worry about it. Sleep well. Ah, the norm. Thank you very much. It's my favorite Stargate actor. Rewatch Atlantis these days, and it's always a pleasure. Cheers. Ah, thanks very much, the norm Is that a Cheers reference, or is that what is that? What is the, where is your the norm from? Uh, I uh, I'm a fan of many things, but Cal, are you? I mean, other than obviously a huge fan of me. Um, what, are are you a fan of uh, of Witcher? Are you a Witcher? A Witcher watcher? A Witcher watcher. I like that. We're having a Witcher watcher conference. Uh, Die Hawk. Die Hawk Titan says hello to everyone. Invisible Dimension says hello. Our air is pretty sucky, but not as terrible. I'm such a wimp now, though. Like, I I feel it. Like, I, my little asthma, asthmatic lungs are, they definitely, I go for the dog walk, and I'm trying not to to, to reduce the dog walk, because God knows that freaking monster beast from hell needs as much tiring out as possible. Um you know, uh, and the dog too, as I would say to my wife. No, uh, the dog is is a is a just a pest if you don't if you don't walk her. So I I I took her out. This is in a way this is kind of like a burn and learn. I took her for a huge long walk just before I came rushing back, threw some something resembling a lunch in, into my into my mouth and and uh, grabbed a coffee and, and came down to see you guys. So uh, I'm glad Henry based his stuff on the game so much and did what he could to bring the games into the show. Look, I'm sure. I, look, Henry sounds like a huge, a huge nerd as well, and I love that. Um, but you know, who knows what this other guy is? I mean, I guess maybe I'm just a little bit sensitive to that because I'm, I just feel sorry for the actor. Maybe I'm just like a, I'm empathetic to to some other one come, someone else coming in to do it. But look, this could be the this could be the start of an amazing career for someone else. You know, I mean, this is what happens. People get older, they get. You know, the other thing is that's a pretty physical show. A lot of VFX too, so you're a lot of standing around waiting for tennis balls to be moved into the right position and stuff. So I, you know, I could. I get it. I mean, would I do it in a second? Would I replace Henry Cavill in a second? Not that it was ever going to come up, but you know what I mean? Like it's, oh, here's an interesting one. Okay. So I've got one for you. So C season two, the bad guy was Dave Bautista. Season two, I mean, amongst other people, who was the bad guy? Me. I'm like, how am I in the slightest bit threatening compared to someone like Dave Bautista, who's just freaking impressive even just in person he's terrifying and lovely at the same time but uh you know but as was explained by tropper who's just a very smart very talented writer and just generally a lovely guy um he was saying like there's no point to try to get bigger like what are you gonna do just get bigger and bigger people till you're till he's fighting giants i mean let's fight you know let's go crazy that's you know let's let's fight someone who's 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 out to do terrible things in his own terrible way um that isn't reliant on force that isn't reliant on the sword and steel as he says in his in his speeches um you know tormata was a was an evil scientist and that's you know and 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 as a, as a result was uh was certainly uh turned out to be more than a match for for uh for for baba boss so you know i you know i love that i think it's fantastic and probably because you know jonathan tropper is probably more similar to me than he is to, to Jason Momoa. So that's why he may like that. Speaking of which, you should be watching Warrior. Warrior is this new, sh no, it's not that new show, but it's a show that's, there's a new season coming out. Um, I think it's HBO Max or HBO, whatever the hell, HBO, whatever stupid name change they've made. Um, but they, they had this show, they canceled it and moved it to their streaming service. It did really well in the streaming service. And now they're, you know, they're pushing it again, but it's just a great fun <laughs> you know, action packed, um, show that I have yet to see the whole thing of, but I keep popping in and seeing stuff and it's just, it's freaking brilliant. So anyways, uh, maybe one day I'll be doing Kung Fu on that. Uh, DB seems to have a nice sense of humor of his own. Wish they'd let him lose it, loose it, loose with it, uh, more than the game. Now that game of Thrones is over. Uh, DB, DB, who's name? Oh, Dave Bautista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to, had to think about it. His River Song. Thank you. 38 months. Holy crap, his River Song. I feel like we haven't seen you for a while, his River Song. Have I just missed you or is that, you know? Uh, we're doing very well. Thank you. Uh, Guardian to the Galaxy. Yeah, that was great. I thought he was great in that. Um, so, hey, Wolf Pup, how you doing? Wolf Pup is here. Wolf Pup is here, even if he's not speaking. I have not missed a tech bandit since I joined two years and two months ago. But are you missing one now, Wolf Pup? No. You're here. 
you're, even if you're in text, it still counts. Uh, you know, but I think you've got a tech bandits problem, my friend. You need to move on. Go on, get out of here. You got your own life. Uh, Captain Captain, no, it's definitely out of the norm uh, to be raining so much. The desert does not deal with rain. No, it doesn't, does it? We've we've just had. I mean, you know, it's it's we've had a lot of rain. Uh, I'm one of my the one of the top stories. One of the top stories for today is is about uh, us losing power for for over two days. It was. Uh, it was kind of eye-opening. Like, we had a storm here. It was very weird. We had this situation where so this torrential downpour, like just sheets and sheets of rain. We've been having like these tropical downpours. And I got to say, one of the things I love about Toronto is they have the most fabulous thunderstorms. So thunder, lightning, roaring, whatever it does. Hello, dog. Um, and, uh, and, and what happens is suddenly it just, it's like it, it doubled. The rain suddenly doubled, and this wind whipped up like, I mean, honestly, if someone said that was like a mini tornado, I'd be like, totally, okay, yeah, no, I totally buy that. Because the wind just suddenly whipped up like in front of our house. It didn't feel like the whole street. It just felt like a section of the street got hit by this crazy squall. And then there was this horrendous thump and crash as this giant branch uh, not even branch. It was like part of the trunk just snapped and it took down a bunch of other branches on the way down. It, it did a bang off our electrical and, uh, hit the ground. And of course it's no longer safe to have those cables. So Hydra has to show up, pull them down. We had an electrician standing by to re-put everything back in. Um, and, uh, so they sort of raced to get it fixed up. And then there was a whole kerfuffle. Someone tried to save some money by not doing a same day, same day, whatever it's called, inspection or something, <laughs> someone. Uh, and uh, it ended up taking a lot longer to get someone out here to, to get it all back up and running again. But the Hydro folks were lovely. They were actually very amused. They, I, I went out and said, thank you very much for all the help. And, and that was when they were disconnecting our power. And they're like, dude, no one ever thanks us for disconnecting power. And I was like, well, you know, maybe this be the first time then. And then one of them goes, hey, you, are you like a TV guy? And sure enough, Stargate fan. So that was lovely too. And I felt really good because I was like, I just did something really good. Like I was just a good person. And n without them even like, you know, without knowing, without them knowing that they were Stargate fans or this guy was a Stargate fan. So I felt great because I was like, yeah, I like went out, I said, thank you. And then they recognized me. So I was like, yeah, that's serious brownie points right there. Um, Noah's Ark has returned. Yeah, I, we're getting rain on and off. Baz has gone to a cottage for the weekend, um, which always makes me nervous. I not to be not to really make this a low, a low point for everyone's day, but I've there's you know I I've lost very important people in in drowning uh, incidents, um, and uh, one of them being a, a kid my age when I was about Baz's age, and we I literally was there watched him, you know watched him washed away. It was horrific. It stuck with me forever. Like I don't I still have to this day. I still have not nightmares, but I, it's still, I could, I could picture it all horribly clearly. Um, and, uh, so I, I always sit down with Baz before he goes anywhere and I just say like, look, you have to remember water is dangerous. Please, please, please be careful. Please be sensible. Please. If you get in a boat, wear a life jacket, even though it looks stupid and everyone will laugh at you. I said, just make a point of it. I've had, I have had fights with family friends because I've refused to get in a boat or allow my son to get in a boat without a, without a life jacket. And they're like, oh, it's just a power boat and we're just going across here. It's no big deal. I'm like, I don't care. I do not care. I'm sorry. I just, it's not worth it for me. And uh, so Baz said, it's okay, dad. It's okay, dad. I'll, I'll, I'll be a dork. <laughs> I, I think that's his way of saying he's going to be like me. Um, and so he's promised me he's going to be very careful. But, and I know, and I feel like such an idiot for having to say it. And, and I know it's just for me. I know it's not for him. It's just for my own, my own stuff. But, but literally, um, yeah, we had we had a, a few people uh, over the years uh, have kids, uh, and it just it, it's just uh, the kid lose kids to this stuff, and it's 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 horrendous. People do not understand how dangerous water is. I remember having a fight with my ex wife's family because they were laughing about the fact that I had a life jacket on, and no one else in the family had a life jacket. And one of the little kids who was quite young at the time said, "You know why? Why are you wearing a life jacket?" Um, and I said, "Because if we have an accident, I want to save everybody." 
And she's like, well, I'll save everybody. I'm a really good swimmer. And I said, yeah, but no one's a very good swimmer when they're unconscious. So, uh, you know, I said, I can swim even when I'm unconscious if I've got this thing on. So, um, you know, it doesn't didn't change anyone's mind. But I, but I, and I don't want to be doom and gloom about this stuff. But I, at the same time, I just feel like I, I guess you are, what is that as we're reading these marketing things? They say you are, you are your own, ah, God, what did he say? It's a wonderful term. It basically says that we are our own um, experience. We are our own, we are who we think we are. We act the way we think we should be. Um, and that doesn't make things wrong or right. And his wonderful example was like the, uh, the Harry Potter books, how, you know, the, one of these massive all time best selling books, 12% of the, of the reviews were negative. 12% hated the books. It was the worst book they've ever read. Um, the rest of them loved it. And his point was just that they're not wrong for them. It was the worst book they've ever read. And for the rest of people, it was the best book that was ever read. And I'm sure people have different opinions now because of politics around that stuff. But, uh, you know, I, but I, I just thought it was fascinating to remember that, you know, it's, sometimes it's important to remember the simple things. And some of them, one of the simple things is that we are, you know, we, we are who we think we should be if that makes sense. And, uh, and I think we, anything we do is in keeping with, with who we are and what we do um, by the very nature of that it's us. You know, They were referring it to marketing. Um, so of course I immediately start thinking about you guys because I think like, I think, oh, these are people, if, if there are people who keep coming back to hear me nattering on, I'm assuming that, that we have a shared experience of some sort here because there's obviously something that resonates with people that I have people who, you know, there are some people you connect with, there's some people you don't connect with um, in the world. And I, I just think it's kind of, this is a fantastic sort of example of that. Um, and um, and then, of course, I'm reading the book because I want to figure out, you know, how, how that can pay, for, pay the bills. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and this is it, basically. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Rating with a party of two. You and your friend rating. Uh, good evening, all movie lad. His river song. Uh, so much resonates. Good f a friend group here. This is what I love about it. I got to say is like, I feel so good when new people pop up because I'm just like, woohoo, they are about to meet like this crazy, insane, wonderfully weird bunch of squirrels like myself. Um, and they're, you know, because there's just so much going on. But I, you know, I pop into the Discord every so often to just look and just, I'm, I marvel at how much stuff people are are doing, you know, under themselves and chatting amongst themselves. It's just, it's, it's lovely. Anyways, Elizabeth with a Z. If you've never gotten in the water at all, besides the bath, there you go. You panic as soon as it gets over your nose. Yeah, no, I'm a swimmer. Like I, I love swimming. I was on the swim team. I, I am a good swimmer. I think, um, you know, not professional or anything, but I, but I, you know, I was, I was, I can, I can definitely swim. Baz has been swimming since he was, well, we used to literally, before he could walk, he would do the, we would do the water thing where you go, it's really cool. You blow in their face and they go, so they hold their breath because you just blow it in their face. It's a it's an instinctive response, and you dunk them in the water and come out. And all these other kids would be like belly aching and screaming at bass would just be like, "Wah!" -ha! Like it was just he is like a water child. He's like Aqua Boy. Um, in all seriousness, I have my speaker volume at one hundred percent as well as the video at one hundred percent. Is it too low for everyone else? Is everyone else struggling with that at all? Um, I hear him fine. Okay, Mark Lapointe, check your volume, my friend. I'm gonna go up a little bit on the mic just to see if that's any better. But I I am peaking. I'm close to peaking on my on my stuff here, so I don't want to blow anyone away. Everyone else sounds okay, so I'm afraid it's Mark. It could be me, but it could be you. Please, if there is a chance, tell this to Fluffy. I'm not making any progress on the swimming thing, and summer starts next week. What? So Fluffy doesn't want to swim. Fluffy cat doesn't want to swim, uh, or do swim lessons. Swim lessons were tough. I mean, swim lessons weren't a lot of fun. We did um, we did a um, uh, we did swim lessons. I get, as I say, from the start, which is, which is a lot easier. And if you're not doing it a lot, it just, yeah, I can understand why. But this is the same thing with driver's licenses. Everyone says, how do you get into film and TV? And I say, get a driver's license because everyone needs someone to run around and get stuff for them or do stuff or whatever. Like you have to have a driver's license. But a lot of kids now, I don't know whether they don't want to or whether it's just not a priority or too much of a, you know, certainly here logistically, it's a pain in the ass because you've got all sorts of gradated What's it called? Graded license, not graded licensing, or le different levels of licensing and stuff. It just sounds like a pain in the ass. Um, I wish I had done lessons with my oldest kid. He's 17 and still can't swim. Well, I mean, his river song, then, you know, I mean, if they, if he wants to swim, he'll learn, right? Um, you know, if he finds a partner who suddenly wants to go swimming and they, they'll, he'll learn pretty quick. Uh, I got my driver's license at age 44, three years ago. Wow. Greg too. Really? Seriously? Greg to you. Uh, I, I was a late driver as well. I didn't get my license until I was late, late 20s. 
Um, and then, and this is how I, I, it was like, it was trial by fire. I basically, I had failed my driver's license more times than I'm too embarrassed to tell you how many times I, I failed my driver's license. I passed the freaking written one. No problem. Had to do it a couple times because I, it kept on, I had to keep renewing, uh, because I kept failing the driver's test, the actual physical driver's test. I failed all the time. I am a terrible freaking driver. Like, there's a reason why I was not piloting the, the, the gate ships. Oh, I'm sorry. Puddle jumpers. Um, you know, I, there's a reason for that. It's I suck at driving. I drove around a little Toyota Echo the entire time we were doing Stargate. Everyone else was off buying Escalades and, and <laughs> Momoa and his giant pink Cadillac and stuff. I stuck with my little red Toyota Echo, and, and I loved it because it was just like driving a tin can, and that's how I drive. Like, it's a tin can. Jane loves driving. Absolutely loves driving. So I had the opposite experience. I kept writing. I kept failing the written test, but then passed the actual driving test yeah i wish it was that way for me i tell you i mean the reality is <laughs> master Pr master pratak is it's just like what is, is that gate ship <laughs> i always say gate ship it's just a way of you know a little poke a little poke um oh exciting to say uh back on the road it looks like i'm you know i just talked to julie caitlin brown the other day and uh, it sounds like there's a convention out in Europe um, that I will go to at the end of the year. And uh, I have not done one of these for a long, long time. So I'm actually going to ask them if, this, if it's okay if we do. I'd love to do like a Tech Bandits live from there. I just think it'd be kind of fun to do that, um, you know, for everybody. Uh, and also, uh, I may bring, maybe I'll bring my coins. Oh, speaking of coins. So, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. get this. Okay, let me find where to put them. Okay, so. So the story goes like this. Uh, really nervous about this coin thing. I just didn't know what to charge. I, I, everything feels too expensive. I wish I could, I just, I wish I was Henry Cavill and I could just give them away for free because that would make me feel a lot better. But I'm not, and there's not a lot going on right now. And so I should be selling these coins. So I am, so that's what I'm doing. So, uh, but I wanted to make sure that it was, mwah, that it was a good experience. So here's what I've done. I originally, I wanted just to print a little letter and I just thought I'd write just a regular letter that just says, hey, these are official coins. I, I vouch that these are these coins are, 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 are legit. And then I was like, God, I really wanted to number them. So I think I'm going to number them too. It's going to take longer. I'm hoping people don't mind that I keep expanding what I want to give for the money they've already spent. But so I, I printed the letter and it just didn't look, it was just, I mean, it was, no, sorry. It looked fine. It was a letter. It was just a letter that, uh, of authenticity, and I signed it. And, and then I was like, you know what? If I, like, it's not geeky enough for me. So I got, I went, I got some really nice cardstock paper, like really, like paper, but almost cardstock. It's so thick. And I printed up like an official Tech Bandits uh, uh, letter, of, uh, letter of authenticity. And I numbered them. So each one gets a little handwritten number on there. And then I sign it, hand, hand sign it there. Um, and uh, that comes with a, with a, with a coin. Uh, and then what I'm trying to do now, if you see behind me, oh, what's that? Oh, just a little CNC. Um, I'm trying to figure out the engraving because I'd really like, if I can, to start uh, engraving these numbers into the coin. Because the coin has a little section. Uh, the coin has this little section right here. See that? The whole point of that was to put a number on it so it could be fungible. No, non-fungible. In other words, it goes from fungible, where they're all the same, to non-fungible, which are new. And so I really, w so I really wanted to, to put numbers on there. I, I got so desperate at one point that I was trying marker pens. I thought maybe I could do like an indelible, like one of those etching pens and see if I could do, if I could do that. But I think the best bet is if I can get that freaking thing to work, I, it's a lovely little system, but it's still so kludgy. It's like the dot matrix of, of, uh, of CNCs. And I'm, you know, I'm working with easel and then I, uh, there's just, I keep, I keep banging up against stuff. So anyways, so that's, that is the tail of the coins, which I think is just kind of fun. Um, so, uh, and as I say, so I'm just kind of sprucing it up a little bit. So it's like, you know, you get, you know, that's what that's what you'll be getting. Um, and then the other thing I looked into because I thought this might interest people. Um, because by the way, that stack was that this stack here, this stack. Look at the size of that. This stack of paper. That's all people who've ordered. Like it's like thirty something. Like they're going. Like people are actually buying them. I can't. I'm kind of thrilled. 
Uh, my wife's kind of thrilled. She's like, oh, that's nice. Tech Bandits is actually earning something for a change. Um, so uh, anyway, so, so I got a stack of people who bought them. Um, and so I started going like, well, to try to alleviate my, my guilt at the cost of these things, I thought, what if I did another run of coins that were different? So they're not, I don't want to, I don't want to reduce the value of these, of these first run coins. Cause these are like, I did, a, I did 200 of them. That's it. I'm not printing those again. Not the way they are. Um, I thought I would do similar ones that I would not number. And maybe I would not have a letter of authenticity on them or something like that, but I'd make it cheaper. Like and have like a, you have like a $25 coin or something. Um, and it would look the same front and back, but the side would have different. Instead of right now, this one says uh, lifelong learning on it, which was my first sort of instinct uh, when I was making the coins. I'm thinking maybe the new ones I might do, uh, be safe, be kind, be brilliant. I thought that could be kind of fun to have around the edge of the coin. Um, you know, I, now I say it, I think I probably will change the coin so it does look different because I, I do want to make sure that these, like these are my first go. Like these are my first coin uh, design and I went through the whole process and probably spent way too much money on them. But I, I really enjoyed it. And, and so I kind of like, I want them to be kind of special. I, the, the idea of the coins came to me because of a guy called John Raymonds, who's a, who's an investor. He does film stuff. He works with Braun Studios. I think he owns part of Braun Studios. And just a really lovely guy who I met uh, on the set of Stargate. He came in, he'd paid to have like lunch with the cast and stuff and hang out on the set. And, and um, I think it was just me and him. I think like, I, I think everyone else had sort of buzzed off to do whatever they were doing. Um, maybe in one of their fancy vehicles. Uh, and I was like, well, he's a nerd. I'm a nerd. Let's go. So I, you know, I was like talking to nerds about stuff. So we geeked out about a bunch of stuff and, and, uh, he sort of said, you know, keep in touch if, if you're ever making more movies like dog's breakfast, you know, give me a call type thing. And so I called him a couple of times when friends were trying to make movies and they need funding. And, 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 uh, in a couple of cases, they actually ended up funding them and he ended up putting money to debug as well. Poor guy. <laughs> I apologized to him later. And he's like, David, it's, it's investment. That's how it works. Some of them work, some of them don't, you know? So anyways, um, but uh, John, one day at a at a at a lunch uh, that we were at, uh, gave Jane and I this coin, and I was like, I "Was like, what? That's so weird! It's like this little coin that he has." And he was he just he it was just his way of saying he liked to give these coins to people who meant something to him, and uh, you know, just like a little, you know, I don't know. I feel I felt a little John Wick. You know what I mean? It felt a little like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like, it's just like, this is just a, like a, hey, you know what? You're cool. And, and I want to just acknowledge that and give you a coin. And I've always been sort of obsessed with that since. And I actually mentioned these coins to him. In fact, that reminds me, I should send him, I should send him a coin as well. Um, but I mentioned these coins to him and he actually volunteered to pay for them at, so that we could have them. Um, but I just, I didn't want to, he's, I, we, you know, I, I, it's, I've, I've got, there'll be better investments for him, I'm sure. But, but, uh, uh, yeah. So originally he, he was like, when he, I told him that I wanted to do the same thing, he was like, Oh my God, that's great. You know, so I, anyway, it's, it's always made it work for me. Uh, it's always, it's always been something that I, that I found fascinating. And also coins, you don't throw coins away. You just can't. I don't know what it is about it. Like people, I have a bunch of these coins that people have given me and I just, there's no way you're not going to throw a coin out. Coins are too cool. Hello, Chris, was it? Christian unpronounceable. Hello. How are you? Unpronounceable. Uh, the unpronounceable. This is like a good horror film. Speaking of good horror films, watched a good film last night. Really good. Recommendation from an old, old friend of mine, old girlfriend of mine, actually. Um, amazing woman. Uh, and she recommended Promising Young Woman. And I watched it and I was enthralled. That was like, as, I mean, I would call it a horror movie. I don't know if it's actually known as a horror movie, but I would call it a horror movie. Uh, and it was the most disturbing and yet funny and charming and sweet and and then thoroughly did I mean, it just I cannot recommend it enough but it will make you uncomfortable and I watched it last night and it really has got me thinking like it's I mean I really don't want to be male anymore I've decided I've decided I don't want to be male that's I'm done with the whole whole man thing uh but man man men uh, it was it was a great film. Highly highly recommended. All right, let me pop into uh, into Discord and see if we've got uh, we've got Lance or anyone hanging out. It's just the vibe pup. How goes it, buddy? I just realized I was deafened. I have no clue why. You were deafened because I'm too loud. 
Uh, no, I had my Discord deafened. I am oh, currently I see. trying. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, what do you got? You are currently. I was playing Call of Duty and I immediately got shot exactly as I was, like, peeks my head out of the corner. And... <laughs> Here's the question for you. When you play, if you're on Tech Bandits, so if you're doing Tech Bandits, do you, and you can game at the same time, is that an advantage to you? Like, do you get away with gaming more because of Tech Bandits? Um, yes and no. So, like, if you sat down and just said, like, oh, I'm going to go down and game, and you gamed for two hours or whatever, your folks would say, what? Uh, no, I have, like times but like tech bandits has become like an exception oh really very, yeah that's very clever of you vibe pup very clever indeed um and then on the off chance you might learn something they're like woohoo great yeah play your games maybe hugh little get you excited about something um what are you excited about now any new any new tech stuff any new school stuff any new like anything you got to be done now right? you got to be on holiday well, i haven't told you this um dun, so dun, we dun. have so I just uh, finished grade eight. I'm in now in high school. Woohoo! What does that um, mean? So you're going to grade eight? Is that eight now? Nine. Oh, nine. Nine is high school? Oh, yes. I guess, yeah, eight was middle school, wasn't it? So you've just done middle school. Yes. Okay. So I... Well, congratulations. I did everything. Like, I did the ceremony. Um, There's a ceremony? What do they do? Like, sacrifice a goat or something? What are they? What's the ceremony for going from... Um, basically, just all the grade eight in the same room there's a bunch of parents watching and you just go up and get like the certificate really for grade eight to nine wow we never did that um i finished it and um on the last day of school because the certificate was on wednesday and we got out on friday oh really okay yeah so but you got I, the certificate so you know do you need to go so on friday i left school early mm -hmm. Because I didn't need to be there because I could just say, hey, I want my report card. Right. And I checked on the side of the road and I had a little, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like this little piece of paper, fancy piece of paper. Yeah, like a certificate. Um, that Yeah, kind yeah. of like a certificate that yeah. said I got an award for being better at science. Seriously? So you, got a yeah. sci you got a science award for being better at science than who? Than you were? Than someone else? What? Uh, than most of the school. Wow, dude, that's freaking awesome. What's your What's your specialty in science? Like, what's your area of most interest? I just like learning. That's really, but only, but you just like learning science. You don't like learning. There's not other subjects that you like as well. Uh, it's the only really subjects that I pay attention to and like. Ha! Huh. Do you have a good teacher in in science? Uh, yeah, I had her two years in a row. Ah, uh, because that makes a long that goes a long way as well. I know Baz struggles when the teacher when he doesn't like the teacher, or the teacher doesn't like him, and um, and that and I yeah. If I had a good teacher, I always felt like I wanted to do more, and also they just make it more interesting. That's interesting. So you just so basically anything science you find interesting, but not English, not math, not none of that stuff. Um, I kind of like math. I did confuse the math teacher a couple of times because of how I problem solved it. Yeah, Baz has done that too. Do you I do in, you struggle with showing your work? Baz is like has it keeps getting told to show his work. He's like, well I did it in my head, so why do I need to show you the work? Uh yeah, but I just kinda redo it. Uh mm. cause I'll do it we were doing uh fractions and I had to go up to a hundred and then she said, follow your work at a hundred and I said no, I want to go down to 25 because that's easier for my brain to work with. Mm. And she said? Uh, she was just very confused, but I still got the correct answer. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this is it. I mean, math is not... I always feel like math is... Uh, someone said math wasn't something you, you learned. It's something you did. And it's a bit like, if, however you get the soccer ball in the net to get the goal, as long as it's legal... Right. As long as, it, as long as it's within the rules, it doesn't matter. I would argue that's probably the case for math as well. Although I guess if they're if you're doing things in too complicated a way, I guess it could screw you up. But Baz, Baz struggled with the same thing. He had a lot of he's he's like, well, look, why are we doing it this way when you could just do this? 
like he's always big on shortcuts. So he always likes the idea of like, well, instead of writing out 10 of these things, why don't I just do this by this and then get that? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Uh, Christian says, I was great in math in school today. Not so much. Is that because you're not doing math anymore? Is it because you're, or is it because you just, I mean, because if you're doing it every day, of course you get better at it. Um, try one of those apps that help you with that. Uh, so oh, okay. something very, I just hmm. want to say one last thing. No, There's go, something go, really cool. Um, here we do it one, two, three, and four instead of A, B, C, and D. Um, they only give out fours like really, really, really rarely. Right. Four being uh, like a 90 or something or, or. A... No, a four to most teachers is like an A plus plus. Yeah. And I'm not saying I got any fours, but <laughs> but I almost would you get like 3.5. What do you get? What do you get? 3.8. I kept getting I got uh for I'm pretty sure tech oh. in science. I only got three plus. What you got three plus, but you got an a four in tech. No, I didn't get a four in tech. I oh. didn't get a four in everything. Anyway, oh, I see. I'm just I, see. I got. Mostly, uh, three threes and three pluses. I only went down in one, mm. be which was English, because I didn't just, I didn't just say like, oh yeah, and I put in like words. <laughs> but I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I put in, like, that was like the worst. That's like being... the worst description I've ever heard of English. <laughs> uh, sorry. So you put in you were in other words you were a smart ass. You weren't actually smart. Yeah, <laughs> is that what you did? I just. I put in more personality, and the teacher said, "No, that's not right. You're right. supposed to do it cookie cutter." All right. Yeah. There's some people are really big sticklers on sticking to the rule, and you know what? They're they. You know, I I I think you could. I I feel like you have to work with everybody. So I keep saying to Baz, I was like, "Look, if there's a way to get along with your teacher, even if you hate their guts and they, you think they suck as a teacher, if there's a way to get along with them, it's only going to help you, right?" But. Uh, but uh, that's, that's saying that's just, you're talking to someone who's 55 years old. Like I, this is stuff I learned. I did not, I was just the biggest goof in school. I used to just make jokes when I didn't know an answer. Uh, I, you know, be, you know, they're like, why didn't you get the, why didn't you study for this test? And, you know, I'd be like, cause, cause, you know, cause Knight Rider was on, you know, like I, I just had, yeah. So, uh, so, so English, but you've done, you've done well enough to get through and get into high school now. Uh, yeah. And do you have to do English all the way through high school? Uh, sadly. Yeah. Do you get to at least pick some of the books? Because that, that was always more fun when I could pick a book. I don't know, but I feel like the only reason why I did bad is because I just did not like the teacher. Mm. Yeah, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. What were the bo what books did you have to read? Or was it all just... Baz doesn't read books. He just gets given passages to read, it seems. Rarely does he get a whole book anymore. Uh, they just kind of, they read books with the entire class and I just didn't pay attention. Mm. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to keep focused on that stuff. Uh, do you read books anymore? Do you have any books that you read? There were books, any books you like? Um, I haven't read uh, at all recently. Yeah. There was no, there were no book series you got into or anything like that. I had a whole bunch of them when I was a kid that I used to, I used to like Doctor Who books and Baz brought like, I think most of his packing for the camp not camp, but for his cottage. He's going up to a friend's cottage. Uh, I would say 50% of his packing was manga. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. Oh, yeah. He had, like, <laughs> he had everything from Death Note to, to what is this giant one? I can't remember what it's called now. That, that, that Attack on Titan? Uh, no. He's read, we've read those as well. But, um, no, it was called something. God, I wish I could remember the name of it. He loves it. He says, and, and he was showing me some of the pictures. They're just absolutely beautiful, but... Um, yeah, that's the only stuff he reads, but I don't care. That's fine. Whatever he's, he's, if you're reading, you're reading. I don't care what it is. Right. Um, uh, it does help to know another language. Oh yeah. How are you on French? Uh, didn't pay attention. Somehow didn't get a two. You got, so what, what's a pass and what's a fail with these numbers? Uh, I'm guessing a one is a fail. Oh, is it really? Okay. But you didn't get any ones. No, I would have definitely got ones for sure. I'm going to see if I can find that book. Uh, what if I, what is it? So best anime. No, best manga. And I bet you it'll be in the list somewhere. Uh, well, not in the first page. Let's see what it's called. Was it Vagabond? Could it be Vagabond? I don't know. I've 
I don't really watch anime or read manga. Um, it's fun. I gotta say, I I wasn't sure about it at first, but but now, is it, if anyone knows this stuff, does anyone know um, if Vagabond the manga series was is a is a big one? I I feel like that was, it's something like that. Yes, it is. That's it. Because he got the giant big version of it. Yes, it's called Vagabond. Uh, so there you go. If you want, if you want to get into some, it's it's just all it's all gory and all sorts of stuff, you know. But yeah, there's a Viz Big edition. It's expensive though. Wow, sixty five dollar paperback. Wow. It's about How... it's, yeah. It's like this. It's like this thick. It's like as thick as your head, basically. Oh, that makes sense. Oh yeah, One Punch Man's fantastic. Love that. Do you prefer physical books or audiobooks? Mm-hmm. Myself, I'm listening to audiobooks now all the time. All the time. It's just I just find it easier. Like I I have a couple of ones. Like I've got this there's a John Mighton book that I'm reading right now called uh I can't remember what it's called now. Um but it's about education and it's about well, it's it's basically about what what uh, Vipup's talking about where where you know, if you get the the classes you like are classes you feel like you're doing well in, right? So if you got a good teacher and they can make things interesting and you can make it into small enough pieces of, of knowledge that they can that people can understand it, then it then they just you know they, they do better. Uh, yeah, so I actually I'm definitely an audiobook fan. Do you listen to audiobooks at all or podcasts or any of that kind of stuff? Uh, nope, not at all. M- music? Do you listen to music? Uh, yes, all the time. Mm. That was the same as me when I so like when I was younger, I, all I listened to is music. Now all I listen to is like is is factual stuff because I feel like there's not much time. My hair's going gray. There's not much time left. I've got to learn everything. I don't know why exactly. So that when I die, I can go like, yeah, I knew that. Um, I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with it, but but yeah, I've been ever since. Weirdly, ever since I dropped out of school, I guess maybe it was a way of me, like saying to myself that I was that I wasn't going to be an uneducated idiot that I was, I've, I've just, I've, I've always enjoyed learning. Even when I didn't like school, I always enjoyed learning. I just never liked learning the stuff that, that I rarely did my learning coincide with the stuff they were trying to teach me, if that makes sense, you know? Uh, and I'm only 20. You're right, Horrid Seven. That's exactly right. So is there a way to give you gold stars for that? Um, for lying so well? Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, okay, so grade nine next year. Is that a new school? Do you have to go to like a new actual physical school now? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it's a whole, and is it closer, further away? What's the deal? Uh, much further. How do you get there? I have to take a bus. Oh, buses and stuff, yeah. And how is the smoke and air out there? Uh, I haven't been outside. But do you know, like, do you know if it's, if it's smoky? No, nope, I haven't been outside. You haven't looked out of a window? You haven't listened to the news? Aren't there like, I thought there were like fires all around you. Uh, nope. I oh. have not heard anything. <laughs> oh my God. At least you don't have news as a class. You'd, be, you'd suck at that. Um, well, look, well done on the science stuff. That's, that's fantastic. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with science, right? Uh, I mean, what, what's the plan? So you're going to grade nine. Do you have any plans for specifically what you want to focus on? Is there like, I mean, obviously I'm guessing science, but, but what, is there an area of science you're interested in or what do you, what are you thinking? Video games, computers? Um, what do you want? I was talking to my dad and he suggested physics. Hmm. Right. Cause I, cause I just like figuring out how stuff works. Well, that's great. That's amazing. Well, physics would be fantastic because you've got that if you have a if you have a degree in physics you can basically get any job you want because people go like oh the guy's the guy did university physics he's like a genius you know what i mean i think it's a good thing to have for sure um so you so but so that's that's all the mark rober stuff right uh yeah he's doing some really cool stuff i've also started i've i've started watching a bunch of other people now there's a there's a channel that you might want to check out it's these two polish students and they have built hey doggy um They've built their own submersible, but it's not a submersible you can go in. It's like a remote control vehicle. It's kind of like a remote control car, except it's a submersible. And it is the, like, it's, the, first off, their channel is freaking brilliant because they just, they have so much fun making the videos about how they tried stuff out and did stuff. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, 3D printed. Uh, underwater. Underwater vehicle no drone okay there you go let's see what they say here uh is this them yeah element 14 let me see if i can do this 
Oh my God, they're so young there. I guess they've been going for a long time. They even have a course. You may even like this. They have a course that you can take uh, where it's like an online course and they'll actually um, they'll, they'll actually talk you through how to build the whole thing and how it all works and everything. Okay, I've got that. I'm going to do this and I'm going to hit the chat. All right, it's in the chat. They're called Element... Uh, what are they called? Let's look it up again. I failed. I failed. Uh, they're called Element 14. Uh, and they have this... They have a website. Let me see if they have websites in there as well. Yep, thank you. Thank you for your... Here we go. There's got to be a link to a... Is it a link to a website or something? I'm surprised. Oh. Um, hang on. Oh, Element 14 Presents. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, no, that's not them. Ah, crap. Ugh. It's one of those rip-off channels that shows other people's videos. Uh, okay, uh, what are they called? All right, see if someone can find the, uh, someone can find the, uh, the, the actual guys who do this. Because it's, it's, uh, they're called, like, something, like, a few letters and then, a few letters and then submersible or something like that. But, uh. Wait a second. Oh, maybe it's on. I was looking at their Patreon, so maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it'll be on Patreon. I am seriously considering being a patron of theirs because I'm so impressed with what they're doing. Of course, Jane will get very mad if she sees any more things show up on my. Because I tend to. She's like, "What are you doing? Giving other? Like, why is it? What's this five dollars every month?" I'm like, "Um, it's really important. It's important stuff." Uh, all right. Let's see. Feed. Find creators. All right. Let's look for. Let's lock, look for underwater sub. Nope. Underwater. Or maybe just submersibles, maybe? Or sub. Mercibles? Mercible? I can't find them. God, this is so frustrating. If anyone else can find them, let me know. Uh, yeah, CPS drone. That's it, Dark Dragon. You are the best. Thank you. Let me look that up. CPS drone. Dot com. There we go. CPSdrone.com. There's their link. Oh, thank you so much. Who was that who got that for me? Uh, Dark Dragon 2. Much, much appreciated. Uh, all right, let me get this sent off to everybody in the chat. All right, so ignore that last one that I sent. Just completely ignore it. This is the link you are looking for. I don't know how to get rid of the other one. Here we go. Uh, yeah, check out this website, uh, Vibe Pop. I think you'll like these guys. So they, so basically they make little videos to document what they're doing and they've just stuck with it. The last one I watched of theirs, I don't know if it was the most recent, but it was, they had taken this drone, they changed the guts of it so that it could withstand greater pressure. And they were, they were piloting it down into this flooded uranium mine. Like, oh, what? They flooded a mine. I, I guess that's what they do to stop radiation or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can explain that to us. But so they flooded this mine with water. And then I guess they could still go there. And they took this little submersible and they threw it in the water and they just piloted it straight down. And I swear to God, it would be like the best horror movie ever. Because there's just like this eerie light as it shines, getting deeper and deeper. And they keep passing all of these flooded passageways and stuff as they go down. So they can actually look up and you can sort of see passages filled with water, you know, reaching off into the, into the unknown. It's quite, it's quite creepy, you know, uh, his river song. What do we got? What's this? What's going on here? Uh, what are you guys chatting about? I feel like I'm missing out on the chats. You guys are too fast. Uh, Star Trek, yes, yes, we do love our Star Trek. Uh, and then what are you watching? What are you watching now, Vipup? You got any new any new YouTube channels or anything worth? Are you watching Moist Critical still? Um, when I see him in my like recommended, but I've just right. been watching uh DMZ. DMZ? What's DMZ? It is just a game out of Call of Duty. Oh, I see. YouTube DMZ gameplay. I'm just looking it up myself so I can see what who's who the big stars are on that. Who do you like uh, watching? Is there anyone in particular who's good at that? Um, one second. I don't know. I know how it's spelled, but I don't know how it's pronounced. So I'm going to Westy? The name. Not Westy. Uh, yeah, it's Westy. Is it Westy? Yeah, Onik is some I watch. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure it's zero and one C. Hmm. Uh, he just zero messes around. And C, YouTube. Right, I'm looking. I'm looking. Also, north of the border. North, like Canada. Um. Yeah, their name is North of the Border, and they make these really, really cool. Like, all I'm gonna say is this is his his intro is. Uh, something like this is Adam, and I like to make t tiny nerdy things. Oh, he like makes stitch and stuff. He makes the softest Sonic on YouTube. Oh, interesting. So he's doing lots of painting and stuff. Oh man. Oh, uh, he makes it out of clay. Yeah, that's cool. Oh man, I wish I had those skills. He also um, makes weird, creepy stuff. Oh, does he? Like what? I'm looking, looking for weird, creepy stuff. Oh God, yeah, there is weird things. Now, I mean, like, weird, monster -y things. I like his, uh, the Simpsons, making realistic Simpsons is creepy. I like the Choo Choo Charles with the, the train with the freaking, with all the weird extra legs and stuff. Oh, these are great. Oh, thank you, man. This is fantastic. Okay. Uh, zombie octopus in a pool. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's definitely doing some weird stuff. He's definitely, he's got that creative, that creative vibe. I like, I made the Mandalorian, but it's Baby Yoda. Oh, my God. Lance is going to love that. Uh, these are great. Easter Bunny, terrifying Easter Bunny. Oh, God, this is the stuff of nightmares. That that Easter Bunny is creepy. All right, here, let me let me share this with people, too, so they'll know what I'm talking about. What's he talking about? He's talking about this. These are the channels. These are the channels to which I speak. Here we go. Um, all right, that's but that's quite a departure. That's not what – that's – that's. Are you, are you into the modeling stuff now? Are you painting models and stuff? Ah uh, no, I just think it's really cool, and then if I'm trying to sleep, I can sleep to it. Oh right, because you're not missing anything. There's no sort of sudden jarring things that are gonna, you know. I know that there is sometimes he does very loud noises, isn't it? Really? I just can. Oh yeah, he'll like sand stuff, and it will be very close to the mic. You know what's funny is that Baz slept through the the tree bouncing off the house onto the cables and then to the ground. It missed the, the whole thing. It literally happened just outside. He's actually lucky it didn't come through his window. But it, it, it literally happened outside his window. We came running into his room because I thought, oh, God, what's happened? Is he, like, falling out of bed? Is the bed collapsed? I wasn't sure what had happened. And I went to the – and then sort of saw this tree hanging there. Um, and uh, he did not stir the entire night. Not a thing. We're on the phone. We're calling Hydro. We're like, you know, you, they got to – because I was, we were worried about the neighbors because the neighbors are older and, and we were worried that they weren't going to be able to get out of their house. And yeah, they, whether it had gone through a window, it was crazy. Teenagers can sleep through the apocalypse. It's absolutely true. Absolutely true. I agree. It's, uh, I can't. Not? I wake up to even the slightest noise. What? Do you really? Uh, when I'm not all the time, but I can just wake up when I hear tiny noises when I'm sleeping. Huh. Uh, I can't sleep through anything. I used to, but, but I, but I, yeah, I, 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 not anymore. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring this up because I was working on some, I have, I wonder, I'm, I'm, I've got a new, every summer, my mission is to find a tardigrade. You know, those, those weird little, like, what do they call them? A water bear? The water bears. Yeah. I don't know why that's not working. I, I was hoping I could bring up my little microscope, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. I wonder if maybe I just need to reboot this thing. It's been going for a while. Let's do that. All right. Um, so I was going to see if I could actually see it in my... Uh, I was going to see if I could see it in my in my little microscope thing because it, it sounds like it's... Uh, they, they're about the right... It's, it's about the right uh, resolution for it. You still there? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just want to see if I can... So freaking weird how this thing works sometimes and not others. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Got it. Uh, like I say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I just thought we might want to just see if there's anything in the water here. Because I've been soaking this moss for a while. Apparently you soak this moss, you soak moss, and then you can find these little guys, you know, zooming around in them sometimes. Now, I've got all the wood still in there, so that's probably not the perfect set up. But let me do this. I can look at some of this water stuff now. Check that out. Um, and I got to get you. Oh, you know what? I got to get your address for coins, too. I mean, don't give it to me now. 
but um, I mean, check with your folks, make sure it's okay. But I haven't sent you a coin, have I? Uh, yeah. After the stream, I will give you my dad's Discord and the or phone number. Sure. If that's what you want. Whatever you need. I whatever the best way of getting the info is. But I'm just gonna. I want to send you one of the little uh, Tech Bandits things. You know, these highly valuable collectibles coins. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. I actually gave one of my old, my mom's, one of the mums of one of my old friends one because she's always, she's always so nice on Twitter and stuff. She's always like, she always like goes like, you know, gives me a thumbs up or a, and I was, and I said, so I said to her that, uh, that she deserves one of the coins. So she was quite excited about that actually. Let me see if I can get to the point where this is sort of, all right. I don't think this may not be, I don't think we're going to be able to get close enough on this. Also, the resolution isn't so good. Uh, let me see if I do this. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Can I zoom in a bit? What have I got? What have I got in the way of options here? Let's see. I can zoom right in. Dun dun dun. How far in can I go? Let's see what I can do. Let's see if it'll let me do this. I just thought it would be kind of neat. If we could find a tardigrade at some point. You ever found one? Have you ever been a, successfully found one of these things? Um, I have only heard them. I you can hear I, them? No, I have only like seen them on the internet. I've never ah, yeah, seen yeah. an actual Yeah, me one. too. Me too. So I just thought maybe there's a way to. That's the that's the goop that it's in. It's in. I just put a bit of just a bit of. Bark Somebody with... just said they see some dihydrogen oxide in the water. What? How do you see that? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit. That's pretty good resolution. I feel like. Huh? There's definitely things in there. I, just, I don't know what they are, though. I honestly wouldn't even know where to look. Uh, it's like catnip for what is catnip for them? What are we looking at? Uh, oh, the Nick. Sorry, that is a. Uh, it's a little bit of mossy, mossy wood, that uh, I was hoping we'd find a tardigrade in at some point. Uh, what do we got? Impressive camera. Uh, what do we got? My cats go crazy. I don't want a cat. Uh, I see some dihydrogen oxide in the water. Dihydrogen oxide. Two, H two O, perhaps is someone playing with words? Um, okay, uh, that was for Jack. David, do you know what the coin size is? Oh, that's a good question. Curious if I could find a holder for it from a necklace or a pendant. Oof, I don't know. They're they're pretty heavy. Um, I mean. Uh, you could have it around your neck, I guess, but it would be a big pendant. And man, it would whack you in the face. It would hit you in the face pretty hard. It's got a good, it's got a good heft to it, I gotta say. Um, there's probably a way of. So maybe I should make. Well, if people want to wear them. Maybe I should, the next one I should make should be a little smaller. Maybe I'll make one like the size of a quarter instead of the size of a giant, a giant loony. Uh, loony being the you know the dollar. Uh, yes. Exactly. You don't actually see it in the water. I guess you. I guess you would see those dihydrid, the dihydrogen oxides. I had to think about it. Uh, David, is that a pog slammer? A pog slammer? Oh yeah, you could use it for that. That's it. We were talking about like how could you gamify this? Like how could you, you know? Uh, and uh, Lance was saying we should have some kind of a game. He wanted to have, probably correctly. He was saying we should have one that has that's like more like. Um, yeah, more like Magic the Gathering that would have like, you know, actual hit points on them and all that kind of stuff. So you could actually play a game. Would it be fun to play a game with coins instead of cards? Five pup? If you had to collect I all them? I don't know if I would do that, but Really? I think it would be. Uh are you you're not collecting any coins anymore, right? You're not doing that anymore? Um no. Uh but are people still doing it? Like are there people at your school who are still doing the card collecting stuff? Oh, you, I thought you said coin collecting. I Yeah, I am doing like some Pokemon card collecting. Just picking them up now and again type thing? On a whim? Uh, 
when I like have money or if my uh like fam because my I know how to words right now. <laughs> <laughs> words are hard. Uh, yeah. What are you? Yeah. What am I saying? You've just graduated from 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 grade eight. You're like, yeah, of course, you got no words left. You got to save them for next year. You've used them all. Uh, I I think Pokemon is is a better investment right now than 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 um, Magic the Gathering. I, I feel like Magic the Gathering is just putting out so much stuff and it's so crappy. Whereas the Pokemon stuff is, I think there's always going to be an audience for it to some extent because not everyone gets into Magic the Gathering. But I feel like as a kid, almost everyone seems to at some point go through a Pokemon phase. So there's, they always have a certain amount of worth to them. And then I think as people get older, like as as people of your age get older, they're going to go like, oh, remember those Pokemon cards? Oh my God, look, you can buy them all. You know what I mean? Like that. That's where I think they have some value. I mean, I still have a couple of unopened Magic the Gathering boxes that I thought I would hang on to. But unfortunately, I just I don't feel like I just don't think they've, they've I, ever since I, I hate to say it. But ever since um, was it Hasbro took over? I'm not not a fan, not a fan. Uh, medieval game vibes. Yeah, it's true. Medieval like a medieval game. That actually makes more sense. A medieval game with old coins is kind of fun, too. Do you think you and uh, Gibby G might try to play once using Game Face? Yes, that was always a plan, right, Lance? It's like you mentioned him. It's like you mentioned him, and he just shows up instantly. Yeah. The face of Game Face. Ladies and gentlemen, Lance Carr, Gibby G, is in the building. The How are you, Face? I'm just the face of media pipe now. Oh, really? That is. All right, okay. Yeah. So you, you got a media face. That's it. You got the That's perfect face for media pipe. He's, I'm doing good. He's just graduated. Hey, He's wow. graduated to grade nine now. Did you guys do fancy oh. stuff going eight to nine? Nope. No, neither do we. It was like, whatever, kid. Get the hell out of here. Go to grade nine. Now they're yes, like. Back in the old days, my mom and dad, they graduated sixth grade. They but did? they also didn't have to go on. Yeah. Really? Sixth grade was as far yeah. as they had to go. One second. Yeah. I got a definite guy trying to shoot me in a game. And I know right, you go. Say, I, I am friendly. Yeah, you, he you might scream. Friendly. He might scream. It's I just fine. Didn't want to interrupt no no not at all that's lance that's literally your job can you hear me now your job I, is to... you know what dude i never thought mind. you were here. what was that you're gonna be 30 oh, sorry go. i just said never mind i'm still here you're still you're not dead yet sorry lance you were saying you were gonna be what i thought you were gonna be like 36 hours into no electricity <laughs> and probably contemplating self-cannibalism i would have lost know. it like yeah. It is amazing. Jane was saying how few lights we put on now. Because for a while, without without electricity, you start... Oh, we are very... Some Is it you, Lance? That I'm, we're very, very clear conversation behind you. Just Yeah, I'm making sister leave. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, just, okay, I, just for her own. Just for her own. I just don't want her to be yeah, broadcast. Yeah, if, yeah no, all, right, all right. Um, doesn't bother me. Just as long as, you know... That doesn't happy, bother me. As long happy as she, sharing it with like the interwebs. 80 of yeah. our closest buddies. Yeah, there you go. In. And the credit card number is... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, uh, what were we saying? Uh, we were talking about... Oh, I got it. We were real good. No electricity. Yes. Jane was saying how few lights you turn on and yeah. go. Well, that's it because I think, you know, we're so used to lights. You lose it for a couple of days and you don't have light. You don't have, you don't have chargers, all that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, you start realizing you don't need half the stuff you've got. Like, we've got lights on. We, like, we got lights we don't need, you know? So... I actually said to Jane, I'm literally considering getting a power wall, not not a Tesla one, because I don't want to give that asshole money, but um, but getting a, a, a some kind of a of a unit that can be charged by solar and by you know nighttime electric electrical rates, and then just run every run everything off that. Everything's DC anyways, right? I mean, for yeah, the most I, part. But see, I'm kind of the opposite of you. After an electrical outage, I'm mm. like, hey, why is that light off? Why are we using Turn them all on. Turn all the lights on. Yeah, exactly. Why are uh, we wasting all this electricity yeah. that's coming to our house and we're just not using it? Yeah. It is amazing, though. I was looking at the cables. Like, the cables are these massive. I, I mean, I see. Like, I was amazed that they lasted. Like, this tree, the tree that came down, the branch that came down was this big. Like, literally. Like, it was a, almost two feet wide. It snapped. Wow. Snapped at the. Uh, on the way up and then brought down a ton of other branches on the way down and hit this cable. And I was like, and it ripped 
all of the supports out of our out of the side of our house, out of the side of the neighbor's house, and then tore Whoa. and tore it out of the of the mains. But but the mains the mains remained connected, but all of the supports were ripped out. So there were like these there were bare wires showing, but they weren't electrical wires. Then our neighbors their their neutral was pulled out, but they still have power. So you know. Um, you know, so we, we sort of hobbled along with that for a couple of days. Then they show up and they go like, okay, we have to disconnect it because it's dangerous. I'm like, oh, now it's dangerous? Like three days in, it's dangerous? Um, so they, they disconnected, but we had like an electrician standing by and they have to redo stuff. And anyway, it was it was a rigmarole. But uh, but yeah, I, I am not good without power. And my, my, my son is even worse without power. Yeah. Did we rule out that you... Uh... We're trying to do that weird science experiment and create a Kelly LeBron. No, it was not. That was beautiful. I, I, I was complete. I was in bed asleep. So I have no, you know, I did offer to go up and do. I was like, well, we'll just, I'll just go up and straighten out that. Then Jane's like, you're not touching that. Stay the hell away from that. And as it turned out, we didn't have a ladder that high anyways. Not that I tried. But um, yeah, so so I was basically banned from, from ever going anywhere near the electrical stuff because my wife was like having having none of that um yeah but so so yeah so that that but the weirdest thing was just the way this storm came up like it was it was torrential downpour that suddenly picked up into a like a like just sheets and sheets of rain and literally like four or five houses just got hit with this massive gust of wind and uh See, that's a microburst I was telling I, you It's about. like a microburst, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's so we that's what we had. And, you know, I can only imagine if it's going to keep getting, if it's always going to be like that. But I, I, that said, Toronto is a bit like that. Toronto gets these, because Toronto heats up. The sun bakes on the ground. And then suddenly yeah. you get these crazy great thunderstorms. And I missed them when I was in LA. Well, we've been, uh, I don't know, dude. I think things are getting worse because mm. we've been spending the last two nights under tornado warnings till like they actually started after 10 and we were up to like one with tornado warning oh jesus that's a sleepless night and those are the ones where we have to get in the hallway and all Mm. that dumb stuff and i'm going to send you some uh hail like there's a golf course on the other side of town Mm. my house is fine Mm. so uh but it looks like a meteor strike like really except eight of them just boom 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 Really? I, I would guess six inch diameter hail. What the hell? Seriously? Something? Yeah. I mean, I remember we try. where were we? We were somewhere where it hailed, and it and I was like, that hurts. Like that could really hurt someone. Yeah. Uh, Guelphite here, twenty seven degrees right now. Feels like thirty three. That's uh, Guelphite in Guelph. Are you in Guelph? Is that the Guelph? Is that what makes you a Guelphite? Uh, so I feel like I'm semi dying. LOL. That's nice. Um, wormhole. I just so glad it's slow because today oh my this is great because we sleep yeah the sleeping thing is never I I need sleep. Did your house land on Wicked Witch? Uh, look I don't think you should, I don't think you should refer to my wife like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's you know what the hail exactly yes. Um, uh, yeah, the weather thing is weird. I mean, the weather is the weather is uh, is uh, the weather be strange? They're saying we're like we should be ready for this stuff. Like it's just gonna. I mean, are we just, I, I, I feel like I'm living in a sci-fi movie. Right. Doesn't it feel like I, I just don't, you know, uh, tornado warnings, watches are a way of life down here. I've never been in one in 35 years of living here. Um, but it being in an earthquake. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I've done earthquakes. Uh, the wicked, which you is, you know, con- we had one in Fort Collins. Jesus. Crazy. What do you guys get everything Fort there? Fort Collins, Colorado. There's something. No, no, I'm in Fort Morgan. This oh. was back when I was in. in- Oh I, see. oh, I see. Fort. I, this, I was, you said Fort. That's all I. That's all I heard. Yeah. Fort. Yeah. Fort, uh, Fort Collins got CSU in it. Got what? I thought a kid was like. Oh yeah. CSU, the Colorado State University. Right. Right. Anyways, I, I I was so accustomed to kids like kicking the back of my chair. Yeah. That I just I just thought somebody was kicking my chair, right? Oh, that's and then, funny. Then everybody in the room was like, "What? What? Oh, why is the room moving?" Oh, that's too funny. I mean, and then they and then they all run and hide under your chair. I mean, what what do they? No, no, we just you know, that's the whole thing. I am such a like a such a sitting target, right? Just for anything. You're right. Duck under me. 
that's I'm not getting that's why we're desk, that's so. why we're friends is because you're such a great target exactly that's why yeah exactly yeah uh dave is ready for the bear attack that's it exactly as long as you run faster than your friend and i know i can run faster that's than land right that's it um you might have to drag your leg but you're still <laughs> still that's it um uh I, I watched another i watched a couple of great great movies um you know, like in my quest. Horror movie? Yeah. So to wade through, I wade through a lot of horror, a lot of very questionable, terrible horror. Um, I don't know why Jane is like, why? I said, because my life is so great with you that I just need a little bit of horror in it. Um, so, gotcha. I, so I've watched a few interesting ones recently. One was a very, very old film and really creepy because it dates so horribly. Um, really? Yeah, and it's called Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. And it is, it's, um, uh, it, what's her name? Very famous, uh, oh my God. All right, I'm going to look it up. Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. Oh, really? Like a 13 or 15 year old Jodie Foster playing a 13, 15 year old Jodie Foster type who is, who um, everyone in the neighborhood knows that this woman's son is a predator. Everyone. Okay. Like the police show up and say, "Hey, if he shows up, maybe don't let him in." That kind of stuff. And I'm like, "How did we think this was okay? Like, how did we yeah. think that's the norm? You know, Look that it's little girls. It's the little girls' problem to figure out. You know, anyways. But as it turns out, she's a very smart little girl, and um, and it's a a very slow, very dated movie. But uh, and it almost it almost sort of it's like watching a play almost. It's so. You know, it's so set oriented, but it but uh, Martin Sheen plays the uh, plays the uh, the predator and, and uh, he does. He a, played the kid. The, he's the really son. creepy. Yeah. And he's pretty creepy. It's pretty. It was a long time ago. Like, keep in mind, Jodie Foster was like 13 on that. Um, Let me think. Yeah. I remember going to movies and she was in like some Disney flicks that I, we used to go to the theater to watch. Oh, was she? That's good. Boy, that's going back. I mean, she's a child. Yeah. She's a trial child actor, right? I mean, she's but yeah. She and did then some what was she in? Taxi stuff. driver. Taxi driver, yeah. But she did like so. She did some really risque stuff. Like she was a a kid actor, and I know there was always that struggle of like, how do you go from a kid actor to a to a grown up actor? And it was always by doing some kind of, you know, freaky stuff, explicit yeah. or or whatever. Yeah, you know, it's like grow up, kids. Um, you know. Uh, so this was, but it was, it was creepy. It was, it was, it was pretty creepy. Um, and it was fun just for ideas, for stories and stuff, but, but, and also almost yeah. like, almost like a, like a history lesson. There was some very obvious sort of racism and sexism and, and, uh, and weirdly this kind of sense of, they were still struggling to have this sense of like class, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like you, I own this apartment building. You only rent, so I'm more important type thing. So she would just sort of gotcha. the mother would just let herself into the apartment whenever she felt like it. And it was it's oh inter- my god. So interesting film. I'm not gonna not gonna highly That's recommend it or happened. anything, but it's it's interesting. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Um so there's that. Uh, then I watched this I think, Yeah, what was that? I, I sent you the the pictures oh. on our personal chat. Okay. Like our mm, how do I do So this? I just thought I'd tell you. Uh, so uh on our uh, personal chats. If I go here, and then I go to Lance, and I look. Oh, mother of God! Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh my! Uh, can I show these? Is there a way to show these? Let's yeah. See if I can show these because sure. these are. This is freaking nuts. It's uh, insane. Let me see. Can I share some? Me sharing right screen. Can I do that? I mean, what if I share my left screen? <laughs> How do I, me sharing Discord. There you go. How about that? Let's try that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not right. Uh, Discord goodness. Let's have a look. look I want to look for, where are you? There you go. Done. Okay. Oh, that is You're way, on the TV more. way too big. Way, way too big. Let's have a look here. All right. Wow. So. This is going to be, it's a bit of a mess, but there's, that's, so that's a handful of them. Then there's, I was surprised by this one too. Like, look Each at this one of those mess. would like knock a knot on your head. You'd be, no, that would, you'd be hospitalized. You get hit by that. Even, yeah. Even from a couple of feet, that would do some serious damage. And then I, the other one that really got me was this one where you could see the freaking divots taken out of the, out of the golf course. I mean, like, right. that's, 
dude, you need to move somewhere else. Like you are obviously <laughs> that part of the world. It's like, you know, if there's some kind of a sentient being looking out for us, it's trying to rem it's trying to carve that section of America out and toss it away. Right up. Yeah. Yep. It's like True. it's like they're removing a fungus. It's like it's that yeah, is not fires, bloods. Yeah, that locusts. is that's not even baseball yeah. size. That's like softball size. Like that's like a giant freaking <laughs> That's Death Rain. It's true. There you go. There's a horror film right there. Death Rain. Death Rain. Um, uh, well, as you can see, they gang up together to attack. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like that yeah. larger one is a bunch of... Of little ones. Yeah, like uh, stuck together. Ice. Why? I'd love to know the science behind that. Like that Because they're, they're obviously crystals that have somehow... I guess it's a certain temperature where when they contact each other, they stick together as opposed to, to, to just... I don't know. Maybe they melt as they're coming down. Yeah. And then that yeah. gust of wind that shoves them back up, they all kind of... Yeah, I don't even I don't know. know. Like, like, I don't know how you keep something like that airborne. It's got to just collect on the way down because there's no way that's going back up. Right? I mean, it's too big to, you know... Not that... Well, maybe. I don't know. They've been very energetic. So much lightning and thunder with them. It's incredible. Mm. You haven't been I in mean, any churches lately or anything you haven't angered any well, gods no, I, no gods usually when i get close to a church my skin burns yeah i have yeah. my days yeah me my too. things come out you got to put your you got to put your cross upside down all that kind of stuff it's witchcraft yeah. exactly it's which master breath brack deck says witchcraft it is it's witchcraft hey get uh, we got uh prof doctor uh prof doctor gurney's here Things are cool. Yeah, prof, doctor, doctor gurney. things are cool up high and it gets warm higher up too I feel that I feel I need more of an explanation to that, James. Who said that? Uh, that was James Gurney. Says things are cool high up, but it gets warm higher up too. That sounds like Whatever. a high, sounds like the beginning of a haiku or something. Is uh, this a riddle? Most yeah, it is. Riddle me this, Hewlett. Uh, maybe maybe James has just taken to to speak. Maybe he's become he's got to a level of intelligence now, where his only form of communication is like in an oracle like riddle. Oh. That could be so it's it. kind of like a, a genius version of speaking in tongues. Yeah, he's ascended, basically. You know? <laughs> uh, so most rain starts as ice. I-I-R-C. What does I-I-R-C mean? If I recall. Oh, is that what it is? Man. Uh, maybe. You, you if, hip internet folks. If I, I recall correctly. can't keep track of all this thing. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's what happens when you live on the edge, like it's, me. He's a media. He's the face of media pipe. He's got to know everything. Um, True. So, a uh, couple of things. Couple of interesting things. Uh, movies. Uh, I watched a film Second called movie you watch. Hunter Hunter. It is. Okay. It's, I, I did not know this until the very very end, but it is a Canadian film, and it is one of the most horrifically terrifying films I've seen in a while. And the premise is basically little family, like like couple and daughter, teenage daughter, living out in the middle of nowhere, the Canadian wilderness, uh, living off the land, they're trapping, they're doing stuff, and then they discover that a wolf has eaten some of the animals that they've trapped. So dad, okay. dad goes out looking for the wolf, and let's just say he finds something that we weren't expecting. Uh, and it is oh. not not a happy film like it is not you are going to leave that film feeling quite icky but man it was a good icky i was like oh like at one point i literally started laughing at how horrific it becomes uh <laughs> like it's it's it is brutal like you've got to love horror for this i'm not like i was recommending uh most pro uh most promising young woman or whatever it's the promising young woman or whatever that movie was that i was just referenced yeah um I was recommending that. That is a horror film that is more of an intellectual horror. There is some horror in it to some extent. There's some, a little bit of gore, but it's not, you know, not really. Um, it's I think it's a general audience type thing. But I'm telling you, Hunter Hunter is pure freaking horror. It is. And it's like mwah, deliciously bloody, very, very rare. In fact, not even rare, still moving. That's how good horror it is. You know, this is, I'm starting to think, when I look at your tastes in movies, I'm kind of seeing what happened to the emperors of Rome. Yeah, we got like twisted. They're no longer entertained by nope. You know, Marvel. No, nope. you know. Marvel sucks. Yep, I'm out. I'm done. The I'm, the new Secret Invasion. You're like is crap. I need to see somebody's gizzards ripped out. Come on, out have you you saw the pilot for, for that? Entertainment. 
Did you see this? The pilot we had we talked about this, right? That the you saw the pilot for Secret Invasion. Yeah. The first episode is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't like it. I hated uh, it. It's got Samuel F. And Jackson in who it. Who looks like he's mailing it in? Not even mailing. It's like he's telegram. It's like he's Morse coding it in. Well, yeah, but it's Samuel F. And Jackson. I know, but it's not. It's Samuel Jackson. On a stupid movie. The stupid show. Oh. What about those stupid oh, masks? That ma- the stupid uh, green googly uh, head mask? Wait, which one? The, oh, the, the scrolls? Yes! See, maybe it's me, but... Look, Cal! I, I grew up watching... I grew up watching the Star Trek and yeah, all tur- those dumb masks. Yeah, it's turned your brain to mush. That's what's happened. You gotta watch. I never got better. I never got more discerning. I just I, like you know. No, I grew up on Doctor Who. I love wobbly, rubbery monsters. Yeah, that's crappy but I, shit. I, but I'm with Cal. Cal was bored. She stopped halfway through. We could. We. Yeah. I, I. We watched in horror. Like we literally were like. This is all, and that stupid AI opening. Oh my God. Marvel, wait up, like how freaking tone deaf to put out, tone deaf, you can't say that actually, it's a term you're not supposed to say anymore. Um, anyways. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's, uh, uh, no, but apparently it's like people get in trouble for saying these. Anyways, what? Uh, my, apparently, yeah. apparently, I don't know. Anyways, point being is, you're in the middle of a strike situation and everyone's worried about AI. What do they do? They launch a TV show where all of the... Op- You've got Marvel. You've got some of the best animators, the best creative brains on the planet working for you. And you get AI to make some shitty opening thing that it dates the moment it's out. Did, did you see Bruce Campbell? No, what was tweeting that? Him at, okay, he was saying back in the day when he was young, yeah. people were calling for him to, to do Superman. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, and he said, so I used AI to give it to you all. And then he's got, like, eight fingers. And, yeah, yeah. And, and he kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a plastic version of Elvis. I did Pretty, uh, a huge job. I did myself as uh, as Electro today for our, it's it's partially for the for the email of awesome awesomeness, but I also, I used it in the in the social media stuff for today, just letting people know we were doing this. And, um I uh, I had so much fun with it because because you know it's you get to play a superhero and you get I mean there's just and the technology is changing to such an extent where we're soon I was playing with a zoom you can zoom in and out now on images so, yeah so if it gives you in five point two in Mid Journey if you get a a portrait like it tends to default to a portrait of something if you say brilliant actor from Stargate and then you change it to to David um, and then. Uh, and you get like a nice little, little, little like headshot. And then you can now say zoom out 1.5, zoom out two or custom zoom. And so people are creating these like, wow. people are creating these like slow zoom in on stuff and things. So they're actually making little mini, little mini movie things out of it. Um, I, I, you know, oh yeah, Baba Hotep is a fantastic horror. I enjoyed that. very Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. Uh, Bruce Campbell just seems amazing. I, I read his book, uh, Tales of a B-Movie. With the chin or the, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but it was, it was great. He's just, he's funny. He's uh, smart. He's, you know, I, I think he was. Self-deprecating. He, I don't think he takes himself serious. No. And he's, and he made, you know, those, those evil dead movies he made with Raimi. Like he wasn't just an actor. He helped, right. he helped make those films. I mean, so yeah, I absolutely love it. Baba Hotep is fantastic. It's just so over the top weird. Um, if chins could kill, that's it. James Argerty. That was it. If chins could kill. That was it. Uh, that's what I. Everything. That's what I. Uh, that's what well, he knows it, and I read the book. Like that's what's that's what's so shameful about it. <laughs> I've forgotten more than James could ever. Nope, that's not true either. Can't nope, even say that. Nope. Yeah, you've forgotten half of what he will. Exactly. Know I, today. Yeah, I've already. For, I've forgotten half of his of his titles already. Like I, uh, doctor, true. professor. There's probably more. He's probably knighted. Um, you know my my uh, brother-in-law just got knighted. Is that right? Whatever it's called in the in England. James James will know. Your brother-in-law. Yeah, he was. He worked on. Uh, he is a roads, a road uh, traffic analysis and strategy guy, and he went to Scotland and he figured out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, OBE. That's it, James. That was an OBE. So, uh, so, and he he figured out like the traffic during some royal event of some sort, and they knighted him for it. Um, 
But he okay, had now they're just getting sloppy now. Yeah. It's like, exactly. oh, you, you made perfect hors d'oeuvres for the royal. Blah, blah. I'm still waiting for me. I when's knight thee. when's yeah. mine? I'm British. I could be knighted. You know, yeah. I couldn't. I, surely there's something I've done that's worth. You've been to England. I've been to England. I've eaten their fries. I mean, I, you know, I feel like I feel like I've represented England quite well. You know, I know James. Did you drive in the traffic or anything? Or anything? Uh, well, no, I think once I get my pig in a tractor and I'm living in England, I think that's when the knighthoods start. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just uh, don't know about this whole yeah. farm Sir, stuff. Sir there. David, wouldn't that be great? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I would not, I mean, I would insist on you everybody. using it. Yeah, I mean, I would. Might as well. Maybe you can buy it. You know, I bet you if like Meghan Markle and, and, <laughs> and, that, and that, that monarch dude, uh, if they ever get into power, maybe they'll start selling selling them for. That would you be know. cool. Wouldn't it be? Like, I, you know, and I would, of course, insist on everyone calling me sir. You know? Sure. You'd have sir to. David Hewitt. Absolutely. Like, it's like if someone were ever to give me an honorary doctorate somewhere, I would totally make everyone call me doctor. If somebody, like, you know, because you know how fans think you are Rodney. Yeah, yeah. Would, they, would you then say, sir Rodney? Like oh, that? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like that, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's gotta be like a, there's gotta be a way to push. Hey, Pixel Rose. How are you, Pixel Rose? Like blue check marks. Uh, I don't know what to do because I, I think I have to leave Twitter. Like I'm just getting bombarded with such, it's not even mind numbing. It's, it's, I get worked up. I get worked up about stuff I don't care about. May I tell you the one that sucked me in? What do you got? Okay, okay. There's an American football player, Peyton Hillis. He took his kids fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, his, and one of his, or several of his children and his nieces fell mm -hmm. in the water. And he got them all out. But he, I, I don't even know if he's okay now. He was on uh oxygen not not on oxygen he was on a respirator and you know and, you know he's could be a vegetable okay separate uh, from that the women's soccer uh actually got some concessions and that they get some pay from the men's soccer so that they can actually get wages that allow them to be professional right, right. soccer players not yeah. you know home depot half year and then <laughs> soccer half year. yeah yeah Okay. So now the women won the uh, Arthur Ashe uh, Heroism Award. Do you know who Arthur Ashe is? Uh, no. He was the first black tennis player. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Yep. So, so the Arthur Ashe uh, Heroism Award is for oh. uh, breaking boundaries in sports right. like Hank Aaron or something like right. that. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. So now everybody on Twitter is, of course, losing their shit, saying Peyton Hillis. Why isn't he getting that? This is BS. This is wokeness. It's like no, no the two different heroisms. Yeah. Are they're, they're not related? He Peyton Hillis, cool on him. He's super heroic, saved his family, cool. But he's not in the running for the Arthur Ashe heroism award. It's it's totally different. Yeah, it's like, but it's like, why isn't he knighted? Why isn't he knighted? Well, he's not. Well, British, why, right, but, exactly. Know. And so uh, that I, 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 I just see. had to. I had to go in and go. But okay, I, I told no. the discrepancy between the two. You I can't. Said, you guys realize you're being controlled by your outrage. You're, you're feeding the machine, though, yes. Lance. I know. But then you become. This is the problem. Like I literally find myself writing responses. I am the problem. And pay, I painstakingly go over and over trying to make things. What was the one that got me the other day? Oh, it was like some, that was it. Someone was talking about the strike and they said, uh, they said, uh, well, if they don't come to a fair deal soon, you know, good luck. They're going to have to, you know, like the Avengers is going to get written by a bunch of stupid YouTubers. And I was like, and I took offense because I was like, you know what? Screw you about stupid YouTubers. They watch. Yeah. You know, they, they get watched more than you do, you acting moron. I don't know who it was who said it. I can't. I don't know. To be honest. But anyways, but someone, someone <laughs> basically <laughs> said, if they don't get a deal, then it's not like you can. It's not like they can get YouTubers to write 
the next Avengers. And I wanted to say, well, here's a deal. Um, you know, they write, produce, edit, um, market. They run their own brands. They run their own channels. They have to write this stuff. They have to perform in it. They are working every day to make content. And it is seen by more people than these stupid movies are. And, you know, and to have some actor say, like, discard them like they're, like, somehow the actor is more important than people who actually want. Because I'm an actor, I guess I can say this. But I'm like, I'm like, we show up, we drink coffee, we eat the freaking, you know, pastries, and then we say our lines. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't know. Well, I mean, that might be how you do it. I left my heart. That's how a professional. On that, that, on that film. Well, but that's, you know, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's cause you're, you know, that's because you're, you you've just started yeah. out. That's why. It, yeah. Soon you get to a point yeah. where it's about the pastries and it's about, you know, yeah. how, you know, how many, what the thread count is on the linen in the hotel. You know, like yeah, that's the stuff, yeah. the important stuff really is what I'm saying. Yeah. No, it yeah. just, it was frustrating yeah. because I felt like this is the problem. Yeah. I feel like Hollywood is absolutely yeah. clueless about this stuff. More people are watching YouTubers than they are watching your movies. You know, it makes more money than your movies. It has more of a cultural impact than your movies. And the idea that a YouTuber is somehow less of a force than actors or writers in Hollywood is so antiquated. Like, that's my frustration. I just, I feel like, you know... Like, yes, you should have a fair, absolutely, get a fair contract, sort all that stuff out. But do not start dissing the things that people, that are changing people's lives, that are a part. Listen to me. Now I'm getting all frustrated. But this is what I wanted to say on Twitter. And I was like, I don't want to talk about this on Twitter. Like, I I don't, I I tried to, I was like trying to write a response. And um, I don't even know who the writer, God, who was the actor? I don't remember the actor was who said it. And again, it's I'm sure it was something that was just just thrown away, you know. Like, of course you're not going to get they you know, they you can't replace all of these famous people with with YouTubers. I'm like, except you can. You absolutely can. I watched I think you could. That yes. movie Promising Young Woman that I watched last night has Bo Burnham in it, and he is brilliant. If they ever have to make a movie of my life, I want Bo Burnham to play me because he was so good in that movie. Because I just, I just Wait. wanted it to work. What do you mean? Bo Burnham, the kid that plays piano? Yeah. And that's a comedian? Yes. How could he have been in an old old movie with Jodie Foster? No. This is the Promising Young Woman, which is a different one than Little Girl Who Lived Down the Street. Oh, my bad. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I Ooh. understand my ADHD approach to, to podcasting no. or whatever this is. I could have lost be, it. Yeah, I just lost it. Sorry, but uh, uh, I... Yeah, okay. You should write an app that sits between you and Twitter and it just posts the replies into a trash can. Yeah, basically, that's, you know. Um, you know what I did do the other day, which I thought was neat? I wrote a little program, that a Python program, that, that takes the transcript of a YouTube video, breaks it into edible pieces, like pieces that are small enough for, for, for ChatGPT to read, and then asks it to, ask it to summarize the, the uh, each one of those chunks and then summarize the chunks that it's all put together right so you get a, okay. a summary of a summary but you um because i i just well, i don't even know how many videos we've got out now like i literally don't know how many uh, there's probably i'm guessing a hundred or so now like i mean or maybe more i don't even know i mean like we're every week now so you know yeah. it's 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 a lot of videos and i don't i'm repeating myself i'm sure and i'd love to know no, no, that's fine. Well, I'd love to be able to go back and just go, like, pull snippets and stuff. Like, even for things like, you know, when people say, like, hey, what's happening with the new Stargate? I feel like I almost need, like, a, I need, like, an auto-reply because everyone else is so <laughs> bored of me, you know, you know, of me saying stuff. Or, you know, um, uh, Donald Logue is pretty much a dead ringer for me. Oh, really? Donald Logue? Why do I? I know that name. Um, anyways. So, yeah, the outrage on Twitter. I just, I feel like. Whereas when I go to like TikTok, which I try not to either, but but when I'm on TikTok trying to figure out how to how to you know be cool with the kids, I I find myself yeah. I find myself seeing fun stuff. I see people making little things or arts and crafts or or satisfying videos of people uh, you know pressure washing their deck and stuff like I stupid stuff, admittedly, but stuff that I find that it makes me feel happy if that makes sense. Whereas Twitter, I just it's just 
turned into outrage. It's just outrage now and a bunch of terrible ads and ads that I don't like, I, you know what I mean? Like that's, so that's, and I, everyone used to say that that's what Twitter was all always, but it wasn't like that. for nah. me. It's, it, this is, you know, I'm not, it's there's no way around it. Here. It's absolutely musky now. Like it's like, and I, maybe I'm looking for it oh, admittedly, yeah. but I, it has changed in a way that it's, it's untenable. No, no. Like I, I don't know it's how to. It's very musky. I don't yeah, know how if, to use if you it were now. down in the sewer all the time, you you might not see any difference, but you do. You know. Yeah, I mean, well, and it's as soon weird. as you let guys like Alex Jones back on and things, oh, you know, God, they, no. yeah. I, I, or what's his name? That freaking guy that's been uh, Donald Trump. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, there's <laughs> him. Uh, no, the the I, Andrew Tate. Uh Remember, like he's he's back on. They put him back on as well, apparently. So, anyways, I don't even. Again, part of my problem with Twitter is that you get outraged about Twitter, and then on Twitter, there's all this outrage about Twitter. So I'm like, it just it's like a snake eating itself, a very uncomfortable, grumpy snake eating itself. And I and I I feel mm. like I I was I really feel like almost a sense of PTSD when I'm when I come Maybe off. Maybe that's your cheap horror movie, dude. Yeah. It's just you getting on Twitter. You're like, dude, do waking up. You know, you hear that song, walking on some chat. Yeah. yeah. And you're and dancing it, around. By the end then of it, you you're getting hit by... scrolling. Then you're hit by giant head size hail. And then that's the end of the movie. No, 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 no. You, then you just start, you know, let's see what's going on Twitter today. And then, or my social media. And then by the end, you're yeah. like chewing on the end of the day. Yeah. And you're like, ah. Yeah. You nod your own arm <laughs> off to try to get away from the phone. Yeah, it's it's yeah. We got a fun one though. We got a fun. Uh, Jane and I are working on a really fun little horror thing, which I'm I'm uh, uh, I'd be doing a bit of writing on. I think right. We got to get a we got to get a one page off because apparently at the Fantasia Film Festival, which I now have to talk about. I have to talk about that too. Fantasia Film Festival, uh, end of August in Montreal. Freaking best time. I love it, and as a sort of a special treat uh, now. Um, I am a judge this year at the at the festival, so I get to judge. So I get that to see even great. more movies. Uh, they're even pitching in on the hotel. Um, you know, uh, we were talking about doing a live stream from the event, but but Mitch, who runs it, just says like he he mentioned it to his people, and their heads exploded. They're like, no, please don't give us anything else to do. It's just about we're a month away. Please don't give us anyway. So I completely understand that, but I think I might go, I might do a live stream from there myself. Our hotel is almost across the street from the venue. So I might be able to do one from my balcony and and you'll see the the theater behind me type thing. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a little impromptu kind of thing like that. But it is um it is a festival of anime and um uh, anime and science fiction and horror. And it is so I'm in my element, you know. There's there's a lot of And you name a really like old respected actor are there any left like sir john gilgood or lawrence olivier well, alan arkin just, alan arkin just died oh um, he's dead see i want a live one you want a live one um well uh, i mean donald sutherland i guess i mean but they're still donald not sutherland. uh well i would but, i'd go so far as saying kenneth Branagh, even though he's not old he's he's definitely of that can you say he's of that era of that he has that quality but he's him. younger than donald sutherland by quite a bit yeah and he's more of a classical like to me he's more of a he's more like a gil good or a or a uh, uh all right you know who else i would say um i put it there is i would put um uh ewan mcgregor another one very very well i mean he's so young he seems like you know what i'm freaking old that's my problem well they're i mean they like, are no, i mean oh i mean of that, well, that era has all died out for the most part. Haven't How about John Reese Davies? What do you think? John Reese Davies, is he around? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's, I've met him. I met him. He's, he's. No way. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's the guy from Indiana Jones, right? Isn't he the. Indy. Uh, he's Gimli, right? So. He's what? Gimli, the dwarf. Oh, from your stupid Lord of the Rings stuff? Yeah. Hold me back. Somebody <laughs> hold me back. <laughs> Sir no, Captain, I, Captain, hold I didn't like those movies either. You didn't like the first three? No. no. Okay, so, okay. You I like Dune. I, I, I like Dune. You can make a fantastic judge. It. 
the Montreal. I know. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be the toughest so freaking judge on this planet. You're gonna be there with the smoke in your mouth. I don't know. I. Uh, I did not see it. it did not what move me. Uh, I did not feel it in my bowels the way that I uh, uh, I had hoped. Please. You know, there I was looking for the movie, and there it was. Lost. My colon is more tortured yeah. than my mind yes. after one. Yes. Yes. You do not know torturous <laughs> colons. Uh, yeah, I'm. I mean, no, I think I'm. I. I, I, I think I definitely don't like mainstream stuff, and I go out of my way not to like it. I think. Um, you, you know, are. You're just like an edge lord now. But you I do did. like. I, I mean, I, I. One of my favorite movies was the Spider Man movie, the Into the Spider Verse movie. Like one of my favorite movies of all time. Lego movies, I like them too. Okay. Um, you know, uh, so there's definitely some. Or do you still? Because now you're in your terrible thir- uh, 50 yeah. fives yeah. or whatever. Past so. fi- I'm, I'm past the mid range 50s. Yep. Yep. What do you got? Oh. So now what? Oh. No wonder. Well, that's why I'm so grumpy and old. That's, I'm li- literally grumpy and old at this point. I Right. People get stuff on your lawn. You're like, yeah, you're I, a kid. I just don't like feeling like I'm being sold stuff. And I feel like I'm constantly being, I haven't well, seen the, all selling you stuff, bro. I haven't <laughs> seen the new Gardens of the Galaxy yet. Baz says apparently it's good. The latest, the one about with the Rocket Raccoon's Genesis story in it. Yeah. Apparently that's great. That's, that's what I've heard. Um, but I don't like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I, I just, yeah, I, I find the big tent hole, tent hole. Yeah. They're tent holes. They're not tent tent holes. They're tent, they're tent holes, not, not tent pole productions for me. This, this rarely is their thing. I mean, I will go and see the new Dune. I thought that was beautiful. I thought Dune was absolutely beautiful. I, I sort of didn't even bother about what it means to the book or anything. I was just like, I just want to go and see the movie and not, not think about that. Um, you know, I'm one of those weird people who liked, I liked Solo. Of all the sci of all of the Star Wars movie, I liked Solo. You know? Let me think about this. I liked Rogue One. Powerhouses. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. You know what? Rogue I, One. I, think I have to see Rogue this One is where again. I think they let the actors. No, that's Picard. Andor was great. Andor started great, but then it just got stupid again. I, that's I just I you know. It got stupid. Do you mean boring or stupid? Well, just I was just like whatever. You know, I just you know. As oh soon as god. as soon as kids start walking around with spears and stuff, I'm like, oh my god! Like I do we really like this? That's that all? what I hated about the last Thor. It's like, wait, you can just give all the kids superpowers? Well, that was I mean, well, and then and part B, who cares? Dude, we tried to watch Shazam, and we really liked the first Shazam. Yeah, and, I like the first movie. And no holy bueno. crap. No bueno. Oh, I mean, it looks beautiful, but, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, brilliant. No, I never saw it. Is that, uh, no, that, no, no, that's really fun. It's hard when you have to go for the <laughs> international audience because so much of it's going to be something meaningful and culturally situated. There's kind of universally bland, but with explosions. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem is they're, the kind of cost, the amount of money they're spending on these movies, they have to appeal to everyone. So in other words, they appeal to nobody. I mean, we watched, I watched, I enjoyed the new Fast and the Furious movie, but only because Jason was in it having fun. That's the only reason I really cared about it. But Jane and I have a thing. Is he in some kid-like movie now? Yeah, he did. Where he's like the Sandman or something like that? He's like Slumberland. Isn't that Slumberland? Slumberland. Yeah. Did you watch it? I did not. I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. It looked like a kid's movie. I'm too grumpy and old for kid's movies. I'm, yeah. Uh, I hate You're too grumpy and old for like, I don't know. Wow. He's like hey. watching They Live or Texas Ooh, Chainsaw Massacre. That was, That's I mean, my motivation. I did not like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I hated it. What was that? <laughs> that sounded like That was the weirdest that giggle. Five pup getting giggly. It was like to get a little a little giggly. I on think he there. just three sixty no scoped somebody right did, between the that, eyes. Did he really? Or there was like kind of smack, I don't know. It's smack talk. The smack talk has made him giggle. Uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like Toxic Avenger, yeah. I mean, look, I like, I I understand that I, I have a weird taste in that sometimes I like really cheesy bad movies as well, but I, you know, I, I just, the amount of money, uh, you're doing a goofy laugh for your friends, says Wolfpup. Too embarrassed to say it live. Gotta put it in the chat. Oh, 
Uh-huh. It was freaking hilarious and kind of creepy because we were talking about horror movies. Um, yeah. Anyways, so Fantasia, I'm going to go to Fantasia. I'm going to see a billion movies. I'm going to love it. I'm going to, uh, and, um, and I really just want to, like, I, I, like, I love, I love, I love those genres. Those are, those are my favorite genres of films. Like I, I got into fantasy. anime. And fantasy. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Yeah. I, I forgot. Fantasy. You know, they don't you make don't a lot of fantasy. Much though. Fantasy. Yeah. No, there's some, I find this some, some of the Asian films, uh, you know, go more fantasy than, than we tend to. And some of them are absolutely extreme. We saw one about a woman yeah. who, a woman who um, just loved fish. Like it was this very strange film. I have to find out what it was called, you know. Um, yeah, like which was which again was very sort of fan- fantastical type thing. But so there's often like weird little ones like that. Um, and you know, and then we had John Woo came by and 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 showed a couple of of his things. And yeah, it was it was it was it was fun. It was really fun. Or as you call him, Johnny Jojo. Johnny Jojo. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, because John Woo. That's how close you are to him. John Woo comes by. And oh, him. I see. Yeah. I, did I sound like I was being too familiar? I was like, "What the what? hell?" No, I don't know. It's like, what is he talking about? What is yeah. it? What is Lance talking yeah. about? We lost Lance. Yeah. Here, quick, someone give him his jab or whatever he needs. Give him his yeah. pill. Yeah. Like, like he's not yeah. making any sense. Um, no, it was. It's. It's. Um, he. He gave a. He gave a talk, and uh, it was before his movie, and it was just. It was lovely. It was great. And there, what I. What I love about this festival is it's just jam packed with nerds who want to watch movies. You know what I mean? Like, so what are you doing? Exactly. I, but no, no, but yeah. I, I want to, I'm, I'm on a quest to find something good. I just want something True. different. True. I feel like the worst thing that's, the worst yeah. thing that's happened. Well, there's two things, terrible things that happened to film. First one was box office. As soon as they started putting box office in newspapers and people started reading about how much money they made on the weekend, it ruined movies because people would see movies based on how much money they made. And that's got nothing to do with how good a movie is. The True. first weekend is about how good your marketing is. That is the only thing that matters in that. It's got nothing to do with how brilliant your movie is. How brilliant your movie is, how long it's maybe it's in theaters. And that if it's still making money weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks later, that is a much better indicator of a good movie than than the first weekend and yet everyone goes oh first weekend it's down whatever and like whatever what so in other words their marketing was off or there was something you know I'm, uh, you know there was a a war there was an assassination there was i mean who knows what that relates to right um yeah so that was my frustration with that um and then the next thing that happened which ruined everything was the formulas like i understand that there is a perfect way to make a movie and it's got a beginning and a middle and an end and at 30 minutes you have to have a complete turnaround in their lives and then they have to have the moment of their the, the low point of the movie everything all is lost moment just before something in the second story comes into play and they're able to you know triumph at the end i like i i understand the logic of that i i acknowledge that it is a format that works very well for film and now I wish we could all just forget it because the problem with it is that I feel like I know exactly, if not what's going to happen, that something's going to happen at these specific points in a movie. My son turns to me every movie, every bad movie, and says, all is lost because we're at the all is lost moment and we're about to have, we're about to get saved by something or whatever. That's why I like watching horror movies where you get to the all is lost moment and they lose everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they all die or they all get set on fire by alien laser beams or it's just a change it's just something where i don't know what's going to happen and i long for that and that's what i miss from 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 see this is from your I'm the opposite. <laughs> but i have a feeling yeah okay 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 you know how it is you have a more critical eye for it mm. because you you've been in the industry you've seen things Oh man, you've seen things. I've seen uh, things with these eyes. I've yeah, seen. yeah. You people can only uh, dream up. Yeah. Yeah. I was going Blade Runner on you. I love. Yeah. No, I love Brando. Maybe I don't know. Um. So you, for instance, I did not know until watching Red Letter Media that yeah. there was an A act, a B act, and a C act. Right. Act right. One act two. Right. Act right. Three in movies. Yeah. I just, I never paid attention. Yeah. I don't know why. And I also think I tend to look at things and obscure the things I don't like and accentuate the things I do like. Mm, mm. But I couldn't do that through the 
like the, all the latest Star Wars mm. movies. The second one just, I was like, Ugh. Mm. but I don't know. And that, but that wasn't anything to do with the structure that you that you're just pointing out. Mm. Just had to do with like, well, where does it go from here? Mm. You just ruin everything. So unless there's a reboot, it's it's over. Well, but I, I, I thought. Well, but, and like, how I, many Death Stars could you have? Like, I mean, for oh I mean, sure, just that's why I don't like the whole note for note thing. I hate that. And everyone's related. All of a sudden, everyone's oh, it's you're the daughter of or the son of, and you're just like, oh my god, are you kidding me? In a galaxy far, far away, we're all related. I mean, like, it just, I, I just, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. No, it, it bugged me. It really bugged me. It was, it, it's, because I used to love Star Wars. I loved it when I was 10, and that's how kids are supposed to love it, I think, when they're 10. Um, you know, and I, yeah, and I'm I sure there's good aspects of it. I mean, like, it's the same thing with Star Trek and all the rest of it. I mean, I, I, I really, I quite liked you know, the next generation, but I was not a huge, huge nerd about it. I was a huge Doctor Who nerd. And then, I, but I'm not now. I don't, I just don't. It's all the new, the new stuff. I'm, I'm definitely a contrarian to some extent. Um, yeah, I think but, so. But the biggest issue for me. What do you mean me, new? Like, where at new? Like, I uh, love David Tennant. His run was awesome. Well, I watched. Who's two just before him? I watched, uh, I watched the first couple of, of, of of each doctor. So I watched, you know, I watched when Eccleson was in, um, I didn't like with the writing particularly. And then, and then I really liked, I really liked tenant as an actor, but I, I just found it got a bit campy for me. I, I, my favorite of all the new doctors, to be honest, was, um, was Matt Smith. I really liked Matt Smith. I thought he was, was great. Was he the younger guy with the old job? Yeah. 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 I really okay. liked it because he, he reminded me of like the old doctor. He was a bit grumpy and a bit off and, and I like of all the doctors, he was my favorite Doctor Who for sure. Um, but again, I just find the shows just got a bit. They, they've just all. I mean, after a while, I just feel like it just becomes a machine. You know what I mean? And I think there's. I you know what? I think that's it. That's actually you know that's a really good point right there. I feel like that that Hollywood has become a sausage factory for content. As soon as we started calling stuff content instead of calling it a movie or a story, I feel like. We, we lose something. You know what I mean? Um, but I still get lost in stuff. Like, I still, I really enjoyed, it, as impenetrable as it was, I, 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 you know, I really enjoyed Foundation on Apple. I liked what they were doing with that. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. So yeah. I want to. It's, it's a slow burn, but it's, but it's, like, it's fun. It's science fiction. It's big. It's, you know, yeah. It's, you know, The Expanse. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I, I mean, certainly the first couple of seasons, well, certainly the first season I loved of, of, uh, of it. And I would just pop it and watch a show now and again. But I, again, I, I feel like these shows that never end or the shows that end abruptly because they'd be canceled instead of finishing a story, it's really frustrating to me. Like, I feel like if you're going to go to all the trouble of spending years watching a show, the least they should do is wrap it up, finish it for us. You know what I mean? And what they, they don't yeah. do that. They just freaking networks just go like, that's it. It's done. And you're like, but, but what about, you know, we talked about this on Stargate where we were going to do a Stargate movie. We we're going to do an Atlantis movie that was going to help wrap things up. I mean, I don't know how good it would have been, but, but it would have been, you know, it would have at least been an attempt to sort of like tie, tie things up for people, but they never did it. So, so you're sort of left and hanging. And, and I, and I, I feel like that's a disservice to both the fans, to the people who've done the, the character, who played the characters. I mean, to everyone, I just, I feel like, I feel like it's it's and it's a it's purely business decision. It's this it's this belief that people are going to show up and watch stuff until until it's not there anymore. And I just I feel like we're there's too much competition now. We got to find stuff that's I like these short series. Everything that the writers are fighting against, I like. I like AI. I like um, you know. I mean, like I I you know obviously I support my friends and stuff who are in, who are in this stuff, but then who are fighting to get salaries that, that they'll get survive on. But at the same time, I'm like I like shows that only have nine episodes. I like shows with that have singular vision that don't have a hundred writers working on. They have like one or two, and then it's got a personality to it. You know what I mean? Like so, a lot yeah. of this stuff. Have yeah. you ever heard of the Greek uh, character? Pro I think his name is Procrustus or no. Procustus. No, no. He's like, supposedly he's, we might look him up on Google to make sure I'm correct I'm, about this. I'm Googling him but right now. Do you know how to spell it? Uh, Procustus, Procrustus. 
well, no, I do not know how to spell it. I Procrustes. Know it yep. Yep. Procrustes. Okay, and he invited yep. people over to his house, and, or, and then he'd say, yeah, offer them a bed. And then if their feet stuck, o- stuck over the edge, he cut their feet off. Oof. Or, stre- or stretching them if they're too short. Right. Right. Mm. So I feel like uh, maybe movies and other things do that. Like, okay, now we've got this cookie cutter thing. Mm. This movie made a bazillion dollars. Mm. So now we're going to stretch every other idea to fit that mold or mm. chop parts of it off. Yeah. So yeah. it fits that mold. Yeah. And yeah. It, yeah. So, I mean, it's so funny to watch like horror films from the 70s, 80s. Mm, into the 90s where where you have these very very long setups where you really get to know these people like you really get to and there was no formula right like so little girl lives down the road there was no there was no turn at certain points or anything it certainly didn't feel that way it felt it meandered a bit and i just feel like you know i don't want to just watch art fil- art films but i feel like films are so expensive that no uh, i miss personality in the films you know what i mean even spielberg's films they don't they're so big that they become almost like if you can, every whim of the director can be, can be satisfied. I feel like, well, I, it doesn't, it, it doesn't feel, it doesn't engage me the same way. Whereas his older films, I felt like he was struggling within a budget. I, I feel without struggle, there isn't, there's no, the story, I think story suffers when there's no, when there's no struggle there. Maybe that's just a, you know, my own sort of work ethic or something. But I, I feel like, I feel like a lot of these films, and a lot of these actors in these massive films, they just seem somehow distanced from the stuff. Like, it's what I liked about Henry Cavill and the whole, you know, with his whole take on stuff is that he's, he loves this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, he's a nerd who... And that's what they need, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, Jason Momoa really wanted to play uh, The Crow because he loved that movie growing up. You know what I mean? Like, it was like... Dude, that's, that would be great. Wouldn't it be amazing? He'd be, yeah, he'd be... Am- Although, he's almost more suitable for one of the bad guys in it now. But but he's... Uh, but, you know, like... I love- like I, I th- you know, I loved, I loved science fiction. I want to be Doctor Who. I got to be a grumpy Doctor McKay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like... But again... Story-wise, I want a personality in the stuff I'm looking at. I want to feel like I'm being told a story, not that I'm being told a marketing plan. And I feel like I'm just being sold a marketing plan all the time now. You know, Tucker and Dale is great. Yeah, it's fun, really fun. Um, Tucker and Dale. Uh, the British are amazing at at short series. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they've you know they've been doing this forever, and that's the, their model has worked really well that way as well. So. Um, you don't get attached to characters and kind of like a Rodney character. Okay, that's why people I do I, I like yours because they're like I want to see what he's doing this week. I what watch yeah I, situation he'll react to. I used yeah I mean I was a, I addicted to Family Ties. I was addicted to, to X Files. I Dude, um, I was Alex P. Keaton man. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Absolutely, me too. I mean, you know, I played up my conservatism because of him me too um yeah i, I mean i made a college uh, substitute teacher cry but yeah. re- really that's just well funny. it was like a what was it called modern problems class mm. it was like a an edgy new kind of course where you looked at you know different world events right and she came in to talk about something mm. and i totally took the uh the conservative crappy side you were she, a jerk. I just frustrated her so bad. I wasn't like jerky. I just got, I just, no matter what move she made, I had him accounted for. That sounds like Baz in his math class. Cause the teacher, he keeps calling the teacher on like mistakes that he makes. And I'm like, dude, just let it go. He's like, well, it's wrong. No, no, he's right. He's probably right. But you know, yeah, I, I, I mean, I feel like I have absolutely like, you know, I loved the Sopranos up to a certain point, but after a while, again, you know, you also get burned a few times. Like, like you know, you watch Game of Thrones. I loved Game of Thrones. Oh my God, every week Game of Thrones. I love the bear. I don't know if you watched that show about the cooking, about the the chef. Um, yeah, yeah. can't stop. Uh, uh, another one. Another great one is uh, Beef. Amazing show. Again, short series, incredibly engaging characters. Um, yes, I I I do love stuff, and I do love some stuff that's popular. I just I. I just find that, you know, especially with TV, I feel there's a lot of filler. You know what I mean? There's a lot of like, 
like, well, yeah. Yeah. we don't need a lot to happen this show just so we've gotten money for the next one. And I, I feel like that's, yeah, Game of Thrones was so good, but the final bits were suddenly about finishing and not the story. I know it was, it was awful. Yeah. And then oh, try watching, me. and then try watching that freaking, whatever that one is, the Flagon of Drones or what, what, what is it called? What's the new one? The, the what's the, the, uh, the, something. the flaccid dragon. The, what, what is it called? The, what's it called? It was terrible. Remember. It was terrible. It was unwatchable. House. Yeah, that's it. That's right. House, House of, the, of Dragons. House of the Dragon. It's yeah. Those, People those. People were saying they liked it, but I'm so hurt by the looking, last. It, I'm not doing it. They 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 tore my heart out with with Game of Thrones, and I'm not. I cannot. I cannot watch. Also, Doctor Who looks stupid in that white wig. I can't get over those stupid white wigs. You know what I mean? Is it? You know what? I haven't looked into it. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, well, yeah. I watched the pilot again, the, the first episode, and I was like, I can't get. I can't even get over the damn wigs. Uh, I, yeah, and like Matt, Matt Smith normally is a draw for me, and I was like, "Hey, Matt Smith," and I was like, "What are they doing?" It was just okay. awful. Uh, is there a reason for the white wigs? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. They're like they're Targathians or whatever the hell they are. I mean, like I, I just did you yeah. watch Wormwood, the the Captain Jack spinoff thing? It was like a mini yeah, series. Yeah, I never liked. I never liked Captain Jack. Oh my god! That if you watch that whole thing, that thing was. Awesome. Was you it? You should hate it, or you should love it, because right. it's so great. You know, it really I, focuses on that he's so old that gay, straight, yeah, uh, multiple partner. It doesn't matter to him. Yeah, he's been around long enough. He knows it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I get it. I, I, I get the characters of it. Just again, it just it always got too campy for me. It oh just got, no, it was so good. I, there was no camp in it. Dude. Really, it was hardcore. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was. I. I was. His episodes yeah. were always a bit like over the top for me. So, uh, all right, Torchwood. Okay, yeah, I, I should watch Torchwood. You mean Torchwood? Torchwood. No. That yeah. Was it. yeah. 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 No, Torchwood. The, the I've heard that the Torchwood. Belonged. I've heard yeah. that's really good. You know, another great one. I apologize. Another great one is um, that's on right now is Happy Valley, um, which is a British. I think it's a Yorkshire show. And it is, man, it's good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of really good stuff. We should, I mean, like I should start a list on discord. We should actually, people should put a list on discord. We should have like, have, have like a thing. I'm going to start a Fantasia horror. I'm going to start a Fantasia uh, um, channel part on our channel and, and have people throw in their suggestions for movies. And I'll, I'll throw some as well. Cause it'd be kind of fun to have a, a list of good movies and stuff. Uh, I will not watch anything done by M. Night Shyamalan. I've again been burned oh, too I, many times. Dude, I hate him. I've been, I I've been burned every single time. I freaking loved, loved Unbreakable. Unbreakable? Me too. I loved it. Thought it was fantastic. Loved- uh, yeah, except him. Sense. Except whenever Pretty he shows cool. up. Loved Sixth Sense. And then everything else was the biggest pile of horsey manure that I. Oh. Signs. It's like, oh yeah. Interstellar guys who don't think about. You know, moisture I, on a planet oh my that's like God. two-thirds water. Oh, my God. It was like a bad it. student film, you know? And they couldn't figure out doorknobs. Uh, what the, oh, it was killing me, dude. Uh, what about Happy? That was original. Love that show. Happy? I don't know that show at all. Like Happy the Clown? Mm-hmm. Oh, Trent, what was that show you and I liked? That, oh, Stuart Little. Uh, yeah, no, no. There was a guy that saw a... Okay, a... Uh, Pat, what's that guy's name? Pat Owens? No, Pat. Oh, God dang it. Keep, keep totally saying out. Pat. Keep saying Pat. You'll get it. It'll, it'll come around. It'll come. <laughs> uh, he's okay. There's a comedian, chubby face guy. He did the voice of this like donkey character. Mm-hmm. There was like a 3D animation. And this guy saw him, this, this cop. Th- it might have been called Happy. Is yeah. that what it was? That I mean, Pat. that could be it. I mean, in that oh, that's, that's I'm I'm looking it up Chris, now. Move your hands around in front of Trent so I can get uh, his attention. He's got eye pain. Uh, he's yeah, like a, like Vincenzo that. did a great job on Hannibal. It's true. Yeah, power of the funk. Uh, all right, I'm looking for happy now. Happy. What was that show we watched where the cop guy got bonked on the head, and then he always saw Patrick Pat. Yeah, uh, is this Nick what? Sachs awakes on a hospital gurney? He's a hitman who used to be a cop. Yeah. Okay. What, what's the What's the comedian's name? 
Uh, the comedian's name, uh, Christopher, Christopher Maloney, Richie Christopher Coster. Maloney is the main guy. Is he? Okay. Richie he's Coster. The... Lily Majoric. Major, 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 I thought uh, it was Patton Oswald. That's what it was. Patton Oswald. Oh, is Patton Oswald in it? I think so. I oh, think yeah. Patton Oswald. Oswald. He's, yeah, he's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patton Oswald. Oh, my God. Dude, that's good. One, All right. If you tell me you expect things it's to on happen the list. in there. It's I'll on the list now. Look, if Cal likes it, then it. it's got to be. There's got to be something there. Dude, there are things that I saw in there. I was like, well, I'm scarred, but damn. Oh, really? Saw... Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, jeez. Same oh, actor geez. behind Better Call Saul. Really? Okay. Same actor? Uh, <laughs> we are so lucky M. Night Shyamalan never got the chance to do a live action avatar of The Last Airbender. Uh, he did, didn't he do an avatar? He did, he did a lot. Yeah. Didn't he do air. That was awful. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love Larry David. Yeah, yeah, that was fun too. Uh, happy, super dark, but interesting. Uh, what has Patton? Every time someone shouts, get me a gurney on a medical TV show. I always say I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. That's, that's medical humor for you. Um, that's all right. That's humor. I've got, I got to wrap up because I'm going to go talk to my wife because uh, I can actually hang out with my wife now. My son's so cool. away. I think, we're, you know, there's a dog that's already been walked. Um, I'm thinking about maybe taking her out for dinner or something. I mean, you know, like it's... Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so, Do you know why there's a difference between cow and beef? Between what? Cow and beef. Why? Or chicken and poultry. Why? You didn't know this, huh? No, I did not, no. See, okay, I guess back in England, back in the day, they were speaking French, the the ooh-la-las, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the upper crust. Oh, really? So the elite? They would say, uh, yeah. The elite, the people who are being served, right. would get la bouffe, which was beef, you know. La bouffe. Which eventually yeah, yeah. became beef. Yeah. And the peasants who took care of the cows, they, they dealt with the cow itself. So they actually separated it out based on a class system. Huh. I guess a lot of our language is like well, that. Makes sense. I've been yeah. watching linguistics a lot, and it's pretty cool. Oh, really? That's a, that's yeah. a pretty geeky pursuit. I do weird crap like that. I know. I, I find myself. Off. Yeah, I find myself going down the little rabbit holes on on stuff as well. What was I looking at the other day? Um, uh, well, I get an excuse now. Because I can use it in my email of awesome awesomeness. Oh, which by the way, email of awesome awesomeness should be done tonight. So, might, I might, it might it might even go out? I don't think it'll go out today, but it might come out on the weekend. So you might have some reading on the weekend. Um, and uh, that's got a few different things in it, uh, including my tales of no no power, uh, but also Fantasia. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put Fantasia, in the Discord. Fantasia, August in Discord. I am gonna. I am going to put uh, a list. I mean, a little, a little, uh, whatever part of the channel, and people can post their movies that they, you know, good horror movies and stuff, and the scenes. I want to know what good scenes they've got because there's a couple of things. I've got, I've got a show that I want to do about horror. So the more information I know and the more horror movies I watch, the better. Um, and also, I just want to do like a countdown to to Fantasia. So every time we do a Tech Bandits, I also want to have like a a movie a movie part to this as well, which would be kind of fun as well. So, uh, so there's that. All right. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, okay, Lance, no, as always, thank you very much. Weekend. Thank I, you. Sorry I about coming late. No, not I at all. You I thought you died. You thought I, yeah, you thought I'd, I'd given up. Well, now there's no electricity. No electricity. Yeah. Yeah. I just, my battery ran down and that was it. My phone died yeah. and I with it. Yeah. I can totally see that. Thank it's you for funny. hanging out, everyone. Cal says, thank you for hanging out and participating, everyone. You know what? She makes that sound like, it's like, why? Why would you be here? Like, she just, it's, you know. Um, Cal is, Everybody. yeah. Uh, all right, so Cal's recommended Happy. I'm going to watch that, along with uh, Lance as well, who didn't even know he was recommending it, but apparently he is. Um, it, it, yeah. it's, it's pretty twisted. It, is, it, it, if expectations, you know, being met is your problem, well, then mm -hmm. there you go. You watch that. Well, what you should watch. Like, what? Speaking of poultry and beef, you should watch a show called Beef. What what's the gist of this? Is it a documentary? Nope, it's a road rage incident. Oh, and it's sort like of a comedy, but it's, it's sort of a comedy, but it's sort of kind of dark and and sarcastic and okay, and okay, a commentary, okay. and you'll love it. You'll love. I think you'll. I think you'll love it. I mean, some people hated it, 
because it's definitely it has a certain style to it. But uh, I, yeah, Which, I, I since they hated it, you loved it. Because of course, I like that. Just made me contrary, and you are. It just made me love it more. That's true. Very true. Are you going through your second teenagehood? Maybe this it is. It. Maybe this is it. Maybe some people have like a midlife crisis, and I have like a mid teenage. Have you rolled Although, your eyes at Jane and said, "Whatever." Okay, Jane. Yeah, all the time. That's 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 our relationship yeah. is based. Our entire marriage is based on that. Basically, and she's like, "I'll slap your face off." What do you got planned for the head. weekend? You got anything? Any any exciting things for the weekend? I do. I hate to put pressure on myself. Well, the kids are going to Comic Con tomorrow. What? True, Denver Comic Con. Denver. Why did I never get? No one invites me to Denver Comic Con. That's what a great excuse. That would have been great. I didn't even know there was a Denver. Somebody get in touch with somebody who knows somebody at Denver Com- Comic Con, and let's get me there, and then I can I can see Lance. That would be awesome. I'd make Lance line I'll up. Go though. stand in line. Yeah, for but I'd put you at the back of the line. Oh, like, not really, but yeah. yeah, right at the back of the line. We would do like we should do. We do like a we could do like a live tech bandits from there. I want to start doing live we tech bandits. We could do a everywhere. duet. We'd be like every. Yeah. And you can go, and ivory. ivory. Yeah, exactly. Although I think we could do something that's of our generation as opposed to something that was our parents' generation. What music did you no, listen no, to? I mean, ivory, that's us, dude. No, I know, but it was, but even that was, even then it was old. Well, I guess I was in 80s. I was, no, no, uh, that was Michael Jackson and uh, Paul McCartney. No, it wasn't Michael Jackson. It was, uh, um, who was it? Was it Lionel Richie? No. Who was it? Ebony and Ivory, no, Ivory, who was it? But it wasn't Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Michael Jackson. You don't uh, think so? 100% requesting David for the local stuff. I need some live tech bandits. Damn right. When you do... We could do some e- Captain Tennille. It was Stevie Wonder. It was Stevie Wonder. Was it Stevie Wonder? We could do ABBA. Ooh. You know, maybe a little... Yeah, or maybe, like ma- of- maybe a little Duran Duran. A little Depeche Mode, maybe. There are oh, flies funny. on the wind yeah. stream. You know, like this, like, you know, really babe, depressing stuff. I've oh, got yeah. You, babe. Metallica. <laughs> I've got you, babe. Oh, my God. I got <laughs> you, babe. That would be so awful. So and you awful. You could wear this really long wig. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, play- I was playing with <laughs> Garage Band again the other day. I should play. Let's see what this is. I-, I always like to listen to it the next day to see what it sounds like. Uh, you know? Um, okay, how'd you go? It's always terrible. Uh, let me see if I can find uh, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. You've heard it here first. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if my computer will it let me do this. Okay. Dude, I'm so substitute teaching you right now. Are you? Yeah, yeah. You know how, like, if you can keep the substitute teacher. Oh, busy. You don't yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. So I'm you're not, like, you I gotta know. go, and I'm like, no. speaking of go. You know what you know I'm the like. Difference between beef and cow. I know. I thought it was a bit of a jump, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, all right. What have I got? Uh, that is off. I don't even know what I've done. Let's all right. Let's have a little listen because I don't know. I literally don't know what how I left this. Oh, it's oh. I guess it's repeating. Dang, this is very eighties. <laughs> I just didn't know you had the power of dance. I did not. It's total 80s. I just wanted to write an 80s song. Wait, okay, okay, okay. So Garage Band, you just made it all up. Yeah. That's so cool. It should be a little slower, I think. I think it's too fast. It makes my I heart race. I thought you were going to drop and you were going to start doing some Duran Duran kind of thing. That's know? what I want to do. But I, I just, I've only figured out how to do like some beats and a little bit of, a little bit of background stuff. Let's see here. Beef into Oh, here, it's slower now. Here we go. Okay, now, now I see a guy, real thin, walking through a party with girls not paying attention to him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking kind of like... I'm in the mood for you, but so low. Yeah. Lots of like... There's the music in the background of the kids game I worked at. Yeah. Great. The ending credits of a video game. I like that. Add some sweet bass. Do I have any bass in here?
There you go. That is the kind of... <laughs> it's so... I just love it because it's so 80s. Like, it sounds... even It, it even has that thin, reedy 80s feel to it. You know what I mean? Damn. Wait, That's, it's, that wasn't too bad, bud. Uh, Do you know the structure of songs then? No. Do they have a first act, a second act, and a third act? And... No idea. Like, literally no idea. I Me Because I'm like, I know it. It should probably have a chorus of something, but I, I don't, you know. It is kind of Bowie, and it needs more cowbell. I agree. Um, yeah, the video game comment was a compliment. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm not taking offense. I, 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 I uh, it is. It does have a video game, I suppose. It did have a 16-bitness to it. Yeah, it's true. I think because of all the synths. All I used was synths. It was just synth, 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 synth. That's it. Uh, yeah, there you I go. I did it's one so called fun. Red Hot Angel Sex. That what? was like that, like, well, like what you did there, but yeah. more electro. Yeah. And then I used all the the voices, like the choir singing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And had them, like, doing, like, kind of like ecstasy, answering back and forth to you're each like, other. You're doing, like, you're yeah. doing, like, uh, the dance club stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah. I always like the EDM stuff as well, like the, or like the trance. I don't really like the trance stuff. It gets too spacey. But I, I like I like the... Weirdly, for a guy who hates dancing, I will. My wife always wants to go dancing. I'm like, really? why? Why? I was like, we're already married. Why would I dance? Like, um, I'll I'll dance really? like an idiot on stream, but I, that's that's as far as I go with, with dancing. Yeah, I really felt like you were just like bursting inside with dance. I think I am. Just I think for something to happen. Yeah, I think I am. But I, it's there's no way. Yeah, it's just not going to happen without. Um, well, probably some kind of a mind mind altering substance of some sort, which I don't do anymore. Ooh. So I'm I'm done. I, 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 it's you know it's maybe too much coffee, maybe. Ooh, maybe that's your problem. You know, maybe. you know what I tried the other day. I bought a bottle. I can't. I did not know how expensive it was when I bought it. Like we bought it in, with a bunch of groceries, so you don't really notice. Okay. Yeah, sixty dollars I paid for a bottle oh, of fake tequila. Fake tequila? Non-alcoholic tequila. And I thought, this is it. This is a solution to all of my problems. I will get, I will get my, I will get my, I will get fake tequila that has, you know, ginseng and, and, and hot peppers and, and all these, and ginger and all these things in it. And I thought, this is going to be amazing. Um, and it, it tastes like somebody poured water over a jalapeno. Really? It, t- it tastes it tastes like a soggy, not even soggy jalapeno, because that would be hello? spicy. What? Hello? Hello? Why, hello? Hi. Why, who's there? Fluffy the cat. Fluffy the cat, how are you? Good. I hear you don't want to swim. Is that true? Yeah. Well, you... he is a cat. Well, it's true. Cats don't like water. That is true. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Um, school. You're finally out of school? Today, yeah. Sweet. Is it today's the last day? Yeah. Oh, wow. Was it like a half day or something? Or do you have to do the full day? It was an hour release. Ah, nice. So what grade's next? What are you out of? What are you into? Seven. Seven? I'm, I'm, oh. I'm going to seven. You're going into I seven. Believe, isn't this the summer where he follows the train tracks because somebody said they saw a dead body way down the road somewhere. Stand by me. Do you ever watch Stand no, by me? In our town. No. No. <laughs> uh, oh, it's great. Great film. Um, maybe it's a great film for old guys though. It's possible. You know, have you seen the new yeah. Spider-Man yet? Fluffy the cat. Hmm. Have you seen the new Spider-Man yet? Oh uh, yeah. And what do you think? It's good. Is it? Is it as good as the first one? Nice. Is well, it you good? broke his brain. Good job, David. That, did I? I, I don't bro- really. I can't read. Re- not really. I mean, you don't think it was as good as the first one? I mean, they're both good. All right. Bass says it ends kind of abruptly. But it's like I think it does. Aren't they already teasing the next one? And I, it's ready to go. Yeah. But no, they said it was. I thought they said it was delayed or something. They were like talking about a delayed one. Oh. Um, yeah, I heard it was like half a movie. That's why Elizabeth. That's what Elizabeth literally just said the same thing. It's half a movie. Yeah. That was a it bit, is. yeah. I I don't know. That just feels like a ripoff to me. Like they should, then I should charge half the half the movie price. 
got half the story. Sure. Although apparently there's some great stuff in it. Like it's there's some really cool stuff. Baz was trying so hard not to give spoilers at all. So, um, all right, but I should go see it. I guess. Yeah, Do I have to go really to a theater? Go. Have you gone mm -hmm. to a theater for it? Yeah, I'm going to theater. Yeah, I guess I should do that. Lance, are you going to go to a theater for it? Will you do that? Um, let's see. Well, I've got the one theater where they kicked me out with the police. So you don't really want to do that. And then I don't have a van. Is it the same people? What's happening with the van? Aren't you getting a van? I thought you were getting a van. Well, yeah. But I talked to Google on Wednesday. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going uh, to California. Yeah. You're going to California? Nice. Sweet. What are you doing in California? Week. Disneyland? Uh, no, not Disneyland. I'm I'm going to Universal Studios. Sweet Transformers. Um, that was my favorite. My favorite ride there was Transformers. It was that, really cool. Do they have Spider Man too? Or they, well, they lose might, that to Disney? It's probably different now. It was last time I was there. They were like they were advertising um, the Meg. <laughs> Remember the Meg, the giant, the giant shark movie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was the last. That was last time I was there. That's what they were. That's what they were advertising when they were there. Last time I was there, they were pushing. Yeah. The Moses movie, that yeah. Ten Commandments thing. There had and there's the Universal Studio tours. That was fun too. I like that. Although that was getting a bit old and creaky too. That's exciting. That's great. So you, how long are you going for? Five, like three days. Five, three days. So, you, so like again, we're, not, we're going there. We're going to the Universal Studios for three days. Oh, you're going to be there for three days? Mm -hmm. That's am I've never, I've only ever done a day there. That's amazing. All right, very cool. They've also got the best shops there. You can buy the coolest stuff. They had all sorts of Rick and Morty stuff and all like hats and things I've never seen before. It's really cool. I, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed Universal for sure. Um, Maybe he's not going to bed. He graduated six feet. Uh, what was that? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. okay. Um, so, uh, well, that's exciting then. So you go, so as soon as you get out of school, you hop on a plane or a car, are you driving you, how are you getting there? We're going there next week. And are, are you flying or are you driving? Flying. Flying. How long a flight is this? A long flight? Three hours? Three hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, that's great. Oh man. We'll have an amazing time. I was actually just about to wrap up until Lance tried to distract me. Like a, as he says, like, like kids, so like kids with a something. Yeah. Because I said, I got to go up and see my wife because we got a weekend now together. We're allowed to actually, because my, my, my son is away. We're actually going to go have dates and things. Um, but yeah, funny. we're going to go on a, we're going to have dinner. We're going to have dinner and stuff. Um, not that we don't have dinner anyways, but we get to have like romantic dinners and things. I think I might take her out for, although I want to take her to this noodle place and it's just the most unromantic place on the planet because you're just sitting there just slurping noodles out of a bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it ain't exactly pretty so you know uh well fluffy cat say hi to elizabeth for me um okay. and and uh, have an amazing an amazing trip yeah, that's like fun. that's so much fun uh definitely if you could do the transformers one i i really like the transformers one. and then you don't He's it's kind of three days he better go on every ride you go on that's true yeah yeah that is true that's a good point do, is that the one that has is that the one that has harry potter as well no yeah yeah the harry potter one made me sick I got like well, really, you're really to eat the earwax beans. You terrible, just... terrible motion sickness. Terrible. So next time I go, I'm gonna bring my my oh. my motion sickness goggles. I look like an idiot. But, I but felt I'm so bad for you, dude. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. Very I can't... little worse than nausea. I know. Even I don't even know. Old. Like I don't even know if I'll be able to use the Apple, those Apple spatial computing glasses instead of the. I know they're trying to call it that instead of like AR, or whatever, spatial computing. Yeah. Um. But uh, we got to bug them about that too, don't we? Got to bug How'd Apple. How'd you do on a horse? What was that? Were, weren't you on a horse in C? Yeah. Did, yeah. Did, were you like ralphing all over? Or? No, the horse is fine. That's your. Well, I'm, if I'm outside, I'm fine. It's it's when I'm like in a vehicle or in a boat. Really? Ugh, boats. Or boats video games. Which or weird. some video games. Yeah, yeah. No, there's some video games that's horrible. Like a lot of people have issues with that. But But no, for me, for sure. Um, all right, guys, I got to go. Okay. Uh, yep, thank you go. all very, very much. Even you, Lance. Uh, huge Easy. thanks to thanks, Cal man. for being uh, – Cal was strangely, you know, strangely sort of like uh, positive today. It's really weird. 
She's probably not feeling well. Get me out, man. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, so huge thanks to Cal for keeping an eye on us for us. And, um, of course, uh, Doc Prof Gurney for always being right. And, uh, yeah, and also uh, Vipup grade ni- going into grade nine. And uh, wow. Fluffy the Cat going into going into grade seven. Yep, that's yeah. what you said. Is it? Yeah, I remember liking grade seven. I remember grade seven being a fun one for some reason. I remember not liking grade eight as much. Liking grade nine. It was like odd years. I like the odd years, if that made sense. But All right, well, look, congratulations to you all on your graduations. And I will say be safe, be kind, be brilliant. And uh, until we meet again, cheerio and huzzah! Yeah, to you all. Check your I inboxes agree. because there is an email of awesome awesomeness heading your way this weekend. All right. So happy. Get out of here. See y'all. Bye. Bye.